there was a lot going on yesterday. Come on, man. I was like, oh, I got. I was tired. It was a good day yesterday, though. I enjoyed that. So you guys should be getting a link now. I punched in. We're live on YouTube. We're live on Facebook. And we're live on Just Twitch. Just something right now. There we go. Shit. Okay, I'm going to send it to you. I'm going to send it to you. Jazzy J just called my phone. I'm going to punch him in on the board. Make sure your cell phones are on mute. And Nick, we, and we hear you all on this. Okay, right now, you live. Hear, we hear it everything right now. We are live, y'all. Woo! We got a lot to talk about. I'm telling you. We got a lot to talk about today. A lot of things happened over the last 24 hours. Let me go to my Facebook. I got to share this thing, too. Word. Make sure y'all share, 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 share. What is all that screaming in my headphones? Is someone's phone still on? Me, you gotta me. turn the volume down. <laughs> not not me. It's not me. Ah, now it sounds better. Something yeah. wonderful happened. There you go. Big shout out to the chat room. I see you there. We got a lot going on. Word up. And today, right now, yes, Carlos L. What's up? Rock Logic's in the building. Man, we got to talk about this festival that went down yesterday. We're going to talk about the versus thing. A lot of things happen. Some things are going to happen on the show. And one, two, I ain't there yet. Ah. It's 62 degrees and it's sunny. A little breezy out today. You're going to need a jacket, y'all. That's for sure. Wear it up. And this is the... my Boulevard hoodie. Oh, <laughs> as Al does his marketing... A Hip Hop Boulevard uh, hoodie would do you just right right now today. And I'm going to hit the button because I love you all. Two, three, and boom. Word up. <laughs> all right, y'all. That's what's happening. Bobby Cowan. There you go. What's up, Rock and Gary? What's happening? What's up? What's Bobby up? Cowan. It was good seeing Bobby. Yeah. Out at the festival yesterday. Um, and uh, Carlos, oh, you missed some dope stuff yesterday. We did Jazzy J's. Um, uh, uh, it was Jazzy J Day in the Bronx, and a lot of dope performers performed. And I mean, it was great. You know what? I think what I'm gonna do also is I'm actually gonna get Jazzy on the phone because he called me a second ago, but I was setting up, so I didn't want to. Uh, while y'all are doing that, let me call Jazzy J back. There we go. We're gonna get Jazzy on the phone. Gary's in the house. Yo. Yes, can, and can, can, can we just introduce the, the, the you know, I'm going to go around, I'm going, go, I just want to lock Jazzy in, you know, Jazzy. You excited. I, was, I, I am, I'm hopped up. Today, I know. Jazzy. <laughs> <laughs> Jazzy, yes, you there? All right, you got Jazzy in the house. All right. All right, I just want to make sure he's on the phone, hang with us, because we're doing the show. So, also, because, you know, we're doing the conversation, we're doing the conversation, I'm a little hopped up, I'm also a little off today, but, um... <laughs> I gotta turn it over to Ty Dre and my man Al Pazow in the house. Al Pazow and Ty Dre. We're all here wait today. A wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> you telling me nobody is missing today? Everybody's here. <laughs> like, Nobody's on FaceTime. Like, like really? Zoom. Like, we're all here. Gary's here. Every, you know, hey. Al is here. Al yeah. is here. I'm here. You're here. You're here. I'm here. Give a give a round of applause. You know what? We're, we're, we're all here. We're all here today. We're all here. We're all here, people. This is this is history. We're all back in effect. Yes, it's good to see everybody. It is. It is very nice. I feel like homecoming or something. I don't know. Word. Ralphie Munoz, Hip Hop Boulevard, working. Al, absolutely. Yo, that's CBS. Mm. CBS. That's it. Yes. Word in the house. Hip Hop Boulevard is working. So, guys, what's been going on? What's been happening over the last week? What happened yesterday? Hip Hop Boulevard gonna, has been we're busy. Gonna do, we're going to do this quick for you, man. Oh, really? We're going to do this real quick. What are you going to do? Fierce. 
All right? <laughs> like a Ty Dre show in an Al Pizarro style. Right? Ty, Ty Dre, you start, you start the whole show, and I'm going to deliver the document. Okay. Oh, this is, this is okay. exciting right now. It's, it's about to get serious. Wow. Oh, shoot. Oh, wow. This is, a lot is it really crazy? crazy? Yeah, this is really nice, right? This is actually very nice. Have you even been able to see it yet? No. <laughs> wow. Okay. Something's going on, y'all. Hold on. This is crazy. <laughs> um, Something's Ru- happening for Rock Ruben Lodge. Diaz Jr., president of the Borough of the Bronx, presents a citation of merit to Rock Logic. Whoa. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. Go, 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 keep going. On behalf of the more than 1.4 million residents who call this borough home, I, Ruben Diaz Jr., president of the Borough of the Bronx, recognize Rock Logic for... Uh, your commitment and dedication in reaching out to the community of the Boogie Down Bronx through the culture of hip hop. We honor we honor your extraordinary talents, dedication to your craft, and continued growth of the cultural phenomenon of hip hop. Know that you are an inspiration to our borough, making a significant impact in our community while setting a great example for the leaders of tomorrow. That's me. Um, <laughs> it's just, that's what she said. It, it says it in, in like quotations. In quotations. Yeah, you'll see it. It's very small print. Um, keep up the great work for uh, all that you are doing in the Bronx and throughout New York City, helping make the world a better place. Uh, presented on October 16th, 2021, at the first annual Sons and Daughters of Hip Hop Festival, Ruben Diaz Jr. Rock Logic, ladies yeah. and Oh, this is a moment. Oh, Ooh. wait, hold on. Wow, hold on. Flip the camera. Look I got it. This has got to be all on you. Look at that. Look at that. All on you. That is hot. Look at that. Oh, wow. I got the stamp and everything. It's super official. <laughs> Straight <laughs> official, bro. That's crazy. Let the people see. Oh, wow. yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, you know, you got to have the moment. Right? It's a moment. This is a moment. Okay. So this is my citation right here. Uh Wow. Major, wow, major. you know what I'm saying? That is, um, that <laughs> is a dream come true right there. Everyone don't get that. No, you know what? And I've never, you know, and wow, like, <laughs> I'm talk us I, through your thoughts. I, 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 you know, <laughs> I, I am, I, you know, like I'm. You can't even you talk. Know, normally, I can talk, <laughs> right? <laughs> but I am. I mean, so like I didn't know that they were doing this yesterday, right? Uh. I didn't know. So they were supposed to do it yesterday. Uh. And after I performed, we did the picture by the wall, and I left. I was like, mm-hmm. okay, you know, we're done. I figured we was winding down. Right. I didn't know. I didn't know I was getting a citation mm. until Al said it in the group text today, right? I'm driving back across the bridge, and he said, oh, yeah, I'm bringing a sticky citation. And I was like, I'm getting a citation. <laughs> <laughs> like, word? Like, I get one now? Like, I get to put this on my wall? Yo, this is so dope. And it's, a, it's man, like, it's, wow. Uh, my brother from another mother, go ahead. I see you. And I'm calling. All right, but yeah, call. That's my We, get, we still got Jay on hold a lot. Nah, I, I, I'm going to get back to that. I got a lot of congratulations. Congratulations, Rock, from Cynthia Tibbs, mm-hmm. Renee Mickens, Sheila Ingram, Bravo, uh, Cynthia you was flowing yesterday. You can't speak now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, my, yeah, today I'm... Wow, that's crazy. That is, you know, that is so amazing. That Wow. Hello? Oh. Hello? Yo. Yo, yo, my brother was good, son. I see that. I see you. What's up, Rocky? Ah, congratulations, baby. I see you. I see you. Yeah. You know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I ran out there. You know, I'm having a difficult time here by the pool. Oh yeah, that that the, the pool will kill you. Yeah, that does. Yeah, that. The, the pool. Is fun. But listen, brother, ain't nobody nobody deserves it more than you, brother. Yeah, nah, thank you, Rob. You know, yeah, I was we, there with you when you when we first started, like we were ten years old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. So said, yeah and we're in our fifties now. So you still kick it? I ain't kick it. You kick it. I respect that. Yeah, you the man. Right. Yo, you, thank you. All you do is all you do is help others uh, achieve their goals, and you're still doing it. God bless you, brother. You are my brother. You keep doing what you're doing. Word up. Thank you, Rocky. All right, I love you, brother. Yo, everybody got everybody in the house. God bless you, brothers and sisters. I'll be there in about two weeks. All right. All right. All right, Rock. I'll see you. Out, Joe. Peace. Peace. Word up. You know, I mean, I don't know. I mean, you, you do stuff, right? You do stuff. And I was saying this yesterday. When we were when we were doing Jazzy J's recording studio, when we were doing hip hop, we didn't um we never looked at it as if we were making history. Or that we were even making a difference, really, right? We were just doing this thing that we were doing. 
and that was it. You know, even when we were recording at Jazzy's, you know, you look back on it and you go, you know, in that in that small space that he built the studio, which was incredible. He was responsible for a lot of music careers. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. everybody came through Jazzy's. Yeah. Everybody came through Jazzy J's recording studio in the Bronx. It didn't matter who you were. You touched it at one point or another, and you signed that wall. Right. Right? Because yeah. it was a wall that was in Jazzy's, mm-hmm. and everybody signed the wall. And I know I said this yesterday, and I'll say it again today. He was directly responsible for my own music career. You know what I'm saying? He's the one that gave me my first professional engineering job. I had been doing stuff downtown, but... He's the one who was like, yo, come here, you know, work for me. And, and, and then we did that. You know, he's the one that inspired me to be a DJ. You know, so he absolutely positively uh, deserved everything he got yesterday. And he deserves the street to be named after him because he has affected so many lives, right, in the music industry. And he's affected a lot, I mean, from, I mean just from Def Jam. Right? I was just going to say that. He was... He started Def Jam with Rick Rubin, not Russell Simmons. They say Russell, but no, he introduced Russell. That's right. To Rick, but he started it with Rick in, in the dorm, you know, um, from just from that and everything else that he's done, you know, with Soul Sonic and his resume is really long and then the brand Nubians and this and it's multi-generational stuff and he's affected people. He taught me how to build studios. I build studios now and I've built three or four of them. I learned that from Jazzy, you know what I'm saying? So... He deserved everything that he got, and I appreciate that you guys were going to give this to me on the day that he was being honored. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it's, you know, I, I'm a little emotional about no, it. Look, you know? look, this was this was something that was real important for us. Hip Hop Boulevard platform is multi. Mm-hmm. We have to protect the pioneers. We have to preserve their name. We have to preserve their history, but we also have to acknowledge their history, their mark in hip hop. And a lot of it has not been done for a lot of people because there's a lot of people involved. This is not this is not something that, you know, put it this way, 47, 48 years. It's like, how long will it take to get it right? Right. So this is what we're doing. So I'm so appreciative of Venus. Because Venus is the one doing, she working with the company to do that. Right. We got the list from Jazzy, and we'll do the hard work. We do the heavy lifting. But look, look at the team. Rock, Gary, Ty Dre. You know, look at the team that we have. Mm-hmm. We have a team. We don't, we don't got a, a, a million dollar budget. <laughs> we doing this thing, like Rock was just saying in the beginning, they were just doing this thing out of the love. Like, we're creating some music. This is going to be fun and all that yeah. kind of stuff. This is what we're doing, and I'm glad you got your accolades, and I'm glad that you got this citation because it's way overdue. It's Quite. way overdue. But how many rock behind you? Yeah, 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 for sure. You know how many are overdue, or how way many people? Over, how many over, people are affected? I don't know. How many <laughs> no, people? Overdue? I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, I mean, lots of lots of you know artists that were, um, and even engineers. You yeah. know, what I'm saying like Skeff. I think you guys were giving one to Skeff. Yeah, we got one for Skeff, too. Yeah, he was a big part of the Jazzy J situation and affected the music industry. Winston, Rice and Beans Winston, right, he also was there at Jazzy Studio and engineered a lot of those sessions also. Um, you're talking about so many people that aren't acknowledged are in hip-hop, not mm-hmm. only in New York City, but across the nation. That's right. You know, you got to remember, there is a... Um, uh, a, a godfather of hip hop in every state. There you go. Very right? Because somebody heard the hip hop in New York and brought it to that state. You know what I'm saying? So, technically, those people are also responsible for the spread of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? The, the, I forgot who the godfather of hip hop is in Philly, but there's a guy. He's a guy that, and there was a guy that was in Michigan. And he came from New York and he brought the tapes to Michigan and introduced Michigan to hip hop. You know, Detroit. You know what I'm saying? So, you got to remember that, you know, there's a godfather hip hop in every city and in every country. Somebody brought it there for them to hear it. And those people also deserve, you know, citations on what they did and their contribution to hip hop and the spread of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's the truth. You know? So, Rock, so, congratulations. Yeah. Um, and now let's, uh, can we just do the verse thing, get that out the way? Can we just get it out the way? 
Oh, oh you want you want? Uh, uh, we, uh, we got so much to talk <laughs> about. All right, let's, 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 let's do verses yeah. right now. All right. All right. So, goes. all right. Everybody, the last show we the last show we had, Rock said he'd going for BDK, Big Daddy King. Mm-hmm. All right. Right. And I said I'm going for KRS. Yes, you did. And Rock was like. <laughs> <laughs> She'll get me out. She's gonna get killed. There's no way you don't understand. And I was like, Are you kidding me, Rock? This is KRS one that comes out. The smoke comes out before he comes on the stage. And we had that debate. Yes, right, right, right. And now the thing is today. It is today. Yes, it is. Right. So we gave Rock the citation because we want to make sure that he's happy, happy, happy. <laughs> so so when down. the verses comes, because down. we yeah. Gary D went and mentioned something, and Rocky's Rock eyes <laughs> changed. <laughs> so we're gonna say that right now. So what what happened, Rock? All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you know, because I'm not going to do that. Right, shut up, Ronnie. Robin's like, Karis went all day. <laughs> shut up, Robin. <laughs> right, okay. So, <laughs> so uh, all right, here's the problem. And I think now we have an actual DJ battle going That's on. That's right, yeah. exactly. Right, because now DJ Scratch is DJing for, um, for Big Daddy Kane. So that's Brooklyn. Yep. And Kid Capri is DJing for Karis yeah, One. The Bronx. And you know what? what? You gotta give it that. Now, I just wanna I just wanna show you something, right? So here he goes. As the person at this table <laughs> <laughs> right, that has a citation and go. go on, which makes me almost an aficionado <laughs> of hip hop. Okay. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm declaring, right, that um, I still feel like, in terms of it being a show, Kane is going to put on a better show than Karis One. I think so. And I think with Scratch by him, I think those two, it's a great combination. And I think that Kane and Scratch, and first of all, Scratch, it's, it's a little bit of a mismatch, right? Because Capri is a performance DJ. Very much so. You know, he's animated. You know, that that's powerhouse right there. So I got a problem with that. I'm like, shit. <laughs> right? Didn't know that. But then, Scratch also is a show DJ, but he just don't use the mic. His right. hands are crazy. His technique is crazy. His bananas. So it, it's going to be interesting to kind of see, you know. And uh, I, I hear the, the thunder from the voice. <laughs> <and left. laughs> oh, yeah, the sureness is out the building. I'm a little concerned. You know, with that combination. But um, I still think that Kane is going to outperform Karis one. I think that. But I think after doing a versus in the car, I played their records back to back, and I just didn't have enough Kane music. <laughs> I ran out of Kane music quick. I was like, shit. But Karis one, I was about 20 deep, and he still mm. had records. You know what I'm saying? Did so they go like, freestyle? Uh, freestyle. Oh. Let's talk about freestyle. Uh, how do you um, feel about freestyle? Kane. I mean, I can't. I can't say that I know Kane as far as the freestyle artist. Mm-hmm. All right, record labels. You know, putting out his records and all that stuff. Got the flow. Can articulate. Can send. You know, send his message through the mic clearly. However, I think KRS One came from that platform. Right. From the very beginning. Absolutely. So, on a freestyle tip, he's been doing it for how many years now? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. So, I got to say, on a freestyle, you know, KRS One is going to be uh, in a comfort zone. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. We'll go with that. And I'm going to say that, you know, I think Kane is going to be pretty comfortable with it too. Because Kane used to write for basically the entire Juice Crew. So, he can write. Except can, Cool G Rap. Except for Cool G Rap. Yeah. But other than that. But this you know. is freestyle, so he ain't writing. And, and, I, and I think he's going to, when they go to freestyle, I think we're going to see something legendary happen. Oh, def- it's definitely going to be a This ain't going to be, a, a ain't gonna be an easy one for Karis One. Let's get clear. And I'm still standing behind Kane, by the way. <laughs> it's okay. You got your citation, bro. You got that, and my citation <laughs> says that I am, see, it's a coat of arms. 
I right, told you, you to do that. Arms. After what I said. You should have started with the verses. You should have started with the there verses. There goes the coat of arms right there so that y'all know that I have official authority <laughs> over <laughs> hip-hop now. So, so now that we got that out the way, mm. right, uh. now do we want to talk about Jazzy's Festival, about the components, the people who put it together, the people that help, all that kind of stuff. Absolutely, and get Jay on the phone, and you know, let's do to it. You, Rock. How yeah, you now let's do, do let's do that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Right now, nah, one hundred. Let's talk about it because yeah. that was. Um, I mean, I got there I guess around like two thirty, three o'clock, and it was already happening. And I called out. Matter of fact, when I was on my way, and the music was blasting, and then Gary got there before me. Um, when I came, Divine Sounds was performing actually, who I had no idea was going to be there, which is dope. And I know both of them, and they ran up on me, and we started talking and stuff because we were going to make a record together. Um, so that was dope. The performances were cre- incredible. The break dancing, the kids, the kids that jumped up there and got down. Mm. Oh my god! But the people that put this thing together, you know, Renee Mickens and um, and uh, Venus, Venus, right, and, and, Big Jeff, and Jeff, Big Jeff, right? You know, and, and B Boy Speedy and Kid Freeze, you know, and and the people who put up the post, the street team, Eddie Rivera, Janita Jones. Heidi Z, um, you know, there's a list of people. Like, Hip Hop Boulevard is a team of a lot of people involved right. in our company, you know. So how did you get that done? Because you you came up with the idea for this, if I'm not mistaken, it might have been maybe two months ago, I think it was. No, no. we've been working on it for at least eight months. Eight months, okay. Yeah. So what was the process? What, so eight months ago, I got approached by the Allenton of association to do a festival for them. Mm. Whatever happened in two or three months, that fell through. Now, the lady who was doing that is, uh, I call her Grace L. So Grace L was like, how do we not going to do this? We're not going to do that. I said, well, you know, you, you don't have to do that. You can do something else. Mm-hmm. And I said, we, you know, you can do a thing for Jazzy J. So the thing was, Jazzy J? Who's Jazzy J? I said, yeah, then we need to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Right, 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 right. The fact that you asked that question. Yeah, we need to do that. Yeah. So then I educated her on it and gave her the information that she needed, and she did the paperwork and all that. I said, you do it on And she said, well, you know, I do block party. I said, this ain't a block party. Not by a this long is, shot. This is the, the whole bang of wax and everything in there. So she said, okay. So I said, I'll do the heavy lifting. You do all the paperwork. Then Irene Estrada, who's the district leader for that area, got in. And she says, well, this is great for the community. So she say, Jaji G, Jaji J, you do the Jaji. Yeah, she was Jaji, messing that up Jaji. on the stage all day. Like so, so I think we she got it right about three times on the stage. Right. And then at the last one, she messed up again. But I had to educate them on hip hop right. and the importance of why we doing this and the importance of what it would do for Allenton Avenue, what's it going to do for the Bronx, what's it going to do for Jazzy J, what's it going to do for the hip-hop culture. Right. You, you have to, and this is the same thing I did with uh, Hip Hop Boulevard when we had to go change the name of the street. Same process, same, same right. thing and everything, because people really don't know the significance. Look, if you're into jazz, you're into jazz. You're into R&B, you're into R&B. You're into freestyle, you're into freestyle. If you're not into hip-hop, you don't know nothing in hip-hop right. except LL, Will Smith, <laughs> these are names that pop up that yeah. they know. That are pop, yeah, pop names. But yeah. you don't know the history. Uh-huh. After talking to them, they went and did the battle. Three weeks ago, we got the approval. Mm. Mm. Okay. Three weeks ago. Now, I told Jay I'm working on something. I'm, I don't like to say something until I got it solid. That's so I'll locked. tell you, I'm working on something. Let me see what mm-hmm. happens, and I'll put it like that. Then finally, I said, okay, Jay, this is on. And she said, what? what's on? <laughs> your festival is so yeah. on. It's happening. <laughs> it is? Yeah, October 16th. Okay, Al. Um, What I got to do? Jay, you the sound, the stage, you are everything. Because a lot of people don't understand. Jay does sound. He does. Now, I have a question about that. Was that his sound system yeah. out there? Yeah. My God. It was booming? It was crazy. Mm. I mean, it... It was a concert sound system. Yep. He had um, four subs on the on on the floor, and he flew about one, two, three, four. If I remember, four speakers were flying, were hanging off the stage. So it was eight, four on this side, four on this side. 
sounded incredible. Yep. Mm. It was crystal clear. Very nice. Crystal yeah. clear. So, and then he goes and does setups for a lot of people with different stages and all that. So, he, I said, this is your day. So, naturally, he tells me, Al, I'm bringing it. I said, you should. And he brought it. He brought it. He right brought right. it. Now, think about it. So, here go Renee. Here go Jeff. I got to give a shout out to Ralph. Ralphie CBS. This is B-Boy Speak. This is three weeks. To put this whole production together. I said, Jay, you call whoever you're going to call. You let me know who's going to perform. I'll do the lineup. i do all that stuff. So there's police department to talk to. There's all kind of political political people to talk to. Everything. And I'm calling Sal. I'm calling Curtis. I'm calling everybody, you know. So sons and daughters of hip hop yeah. step up. And they go and they say, Al, how can we help? I said, well, you can put up the money for the posters, man. I want to do posters. A lot of people don't realize that. Posters and flyers was the the promotional tool that we used because we didn't have the money for the radio. That's right. That's so yeah. true. And that's what we did. We put up posters and flyers. Now, we graduated from paper flyers that you see. If you ever look on the Internet, there's always a, a paper flyer from 1978. You know, and this date, you know, start of the ballroom and all this kind of stuff mm -hmm. to more graphic, more artwork and all that. So I call Kenny. Ken, Kenny, uh, Kenny is a guy who used to do the Fania All Stars uh, covers. He used to work with Ralph McCardle. Oh, yeah, Fania. Yeah, the label. Yeah, right. So absolutely. I call him and ask him for a favor. I need you to hook this up. So he did the design. And from then on, it was off to the races, and we start putting up the posters and blasting The posters it. that we had yesterday. Yeah, yeah. And they were dope. Yeah. Mm. And a lot of people actually, what was great about that, is people that got the posters, they, they it it was a nostalgia thing for them. And they were running around getting everybody's yeah, autographs. Getting signatures on it, yeah. Making oh, nice. people sign the posters yesterday. So that was that was actually very really dope. Then I get a call from Steve Cass. Now, I, I met Steve Cass probably five times in my lifetime. So I don't have that built-in relationship with him, but I know of him. So when I talk to graffiti artists about him, they say, it's Steve Cass. This is, it's like the Cadillac and the Rolls Royce of graffiti artists. Uh -huh. I said, I don't know. So get Steve Cass. Steve Cass called me. He said, Al, I want to do something for Jay. Sure enough, he says, I'll do the mural. I said, okay, I'll find, I'll find you all. <laughs> <laughs> and there was, you know how when everything just comes out mm -hmm. just the way it's supposed to be? Mm -hmm. The alleyway where Jazzy had the studio, an empty wall right there. Oh, let me see what that is. Hold on. And Heidi Z. To accept, press 1. To send a voicemail, press 2. Uh, this is good. Hello? Yeah, hello. This is Edward Rivera, Street Team Coordinator for Hip Hop Boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Reporting for duty, sir. <laughs> What's up, bro? Oh, man. It was crazy, crazy, great day yesterday, you know? Uh, it was phenomenal, man. I was just just honored to be a part of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Honoring so many hip hop pioneers, jazzy. It was great. It was phenomenal. Phenomenal. You know, just happy. Ah, nah, listen. What's up, Al? What's up, Eddie? How you feel, man? You good? Right now? <laughs> I'm, I feel fierce. I feel fierce. <laughs> uh, oh, I just want to tell everyone in the chat room, I just put the number up on the screen. Because Heidi Z was asking me what's the number, so the number yeah, is now up Heidi on the Yeah, Heidi is the one that got me the number. Heidi's with me right now, and she uh, did a phenomenal job yesterday also. Yeah, yes. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. So, we, yeah we, we got, got some good footage I, I didn't put up yet, but uh, we're editing it to make it look more proper. You know, for uh, ASO 131, we got some good footage on all the other uh, guys, so we're going to be putting that up later on tonight. That's yeah. excellent. Nice. Eddie, you did a great yeah. job, and you know, I, I mentioned this on my. Uh, I did a Facebook live earlier. Eddie was in the hospital previously, and then came out the hospital, and I was like, you know, you really got to take care of yourself and all that. And before you know, he's sending me pictures of the, you know, putting up the posters <laughs> in different places with him and Lenita Jones and all that. So that and and that's what we talk about when we talk about Hip Hop Boulevard and the people that are involved. It's it's it, it's a pleasure, like. 
you know, you know, I got my own little company and all that, but working under Al, since I've been working under Al, it's been way better. It's like a refreshing feeling for the culture because Al is passionate about the culture. I'm passionate about the culture. So I'm learning from Al and I, I'm just really happy to be a part of Hip Hop Boulevard. That's it. That's the bottom line. So, Heidi Z, you gonna get on the phone? You're right next to Eddie. You might as well. Heidi Z. Huh? Oh, hey, 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 guys. I'm sorry. What's going on? Heidi Z in the house. Now, now I tell um, you um, uh, Shout out to Al Pizzello oh. and, you know, everyone, the whole staff that helped put this together, man. And like Eddie said, you know, you see it in Al that he's so passionate about hip hop and the culture, you know, and that's good to have a man in the Bronx to be so passionate to give all these artists a platform and, and you know, uh, share the knowledge to the world, to the, you know, to our boroughs all over New York City where hip hop originated and started from. And we have to educate our youth. You know, and be an example. And Al Pizarro, you did your thing. Thank you for having me. As always, you know, I love you. So I love being part of this uh, whole hip hop boulevard. I'm myself, because of my generation, I still always learn, especially through Big Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta shout out Big Jeff for, you know, the, his- the uh, hip hop history he gave back. <laughs> well, le- let me tell you. Let me tell you something. I met Heidi because she uh, she was very is very close to Dr. Dre from UMTV Rap, right? And I saw her heart with him, and I knew at that point that somehow, some way, we're gonna get closer to do bigger things. I never told her that. I'm she's there it for the first time right now. Wow. Nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm honored. Thank you. So, that's, right, that's, so that's y'all do your thing, but I'm letting you know. Yes. Yep, I said. Yes, said something. Yeah. No, I, I, Sorry, I, I, all I'm saying, Heidi, is that it takes a lot to uh, to to be able to help somebody. And Dre is a very special person in my life, and I know in Rock's life, a lot of people, he's helped a lot of different people. And when I said that yesterday, this is just the beginning, this is just the start, believe me, we got to do something for Dr. Dre. Word. Yes. Yeah, uh, you know, I have to hope get him. Oh, uh, you know what I need? What I really would like um, for him, I've gotten him proclamations. But I would love for him, it would be a great surprise if he was to get a proclamation where he was born and raised. Which is? and Which is the town of Westbury. Why not? You know? Let's go to Long Island. Because he, re- he really wants that, you know, and that's the only thing I haven't been able to, like, get for him. We, we, we're going to put it on the top of the list. Let's go to Long Island, Rob. Let's go. <laughs> that's what's up. Oh, we got another call coming in. All right. All right. All right, I talked to you, Heidi. All right. All right. All right, thank you. All right, see you. Busy today. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hey, what's up? <laughs> hey. hey. Uh, did I not call? I was like, yo, did I not call the, did I not call the show? Like, be quiet all the time. Rockin' on a high, man. I'm like, yo, that's a long number. I'm official. I'm official. I got a citation, people. That's all. Who's this on the phone? Uh, You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, man. Hello. (laughs) Ain't I on the show? You're like, what kind of weirdo shit is this? Hello? 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 I just want to say that, that, uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, I peeped everything out. You know, from the distance, I who sponsored uh, you know who, the event. I, who are we talking to? Who's this? Uh, who who this is? I said, this, man, let's say Casey from One Stop. Oh, Casey, what's up, baby? What's going on, bro? Hey, what's up, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? How you doing? Casey's jumped on the phone. <laughs> It's like he's like in the living room and every day. Hey, what's it's, up, fellas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> you can see me, right? Yeah. <laughs> No, I, I thought I thought I called the wrong number. Nah, nah, okay, you got the right. They got low. 
<laughs> That's okay. Yeah, so, I, you know, so listen, I just want to give a mad shout out to all y'all, man. Uh, you know, everything you did yesterday, tight. Um, it made me realize the vision that uh, Hip Hop Boulevard has. It was very hard, you know, when I first started, you know, networking with, with, with Al and Hip Hop Boulevard about a year ago. I wasn't fully sure on the vision, but it came full circle yesterday. And uh, I think it was a great event. And, I, you know, I'm just proud to be a part of it, you know, to, you know, to be able to have sponsored it. And, you know, you know, that's primarily it, you know what I'm saying? And it, 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 it was just a nice joint. But Casey's from Vermont. So oh, he's just, okay. so he saw this. Casey, no, 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 no. Casey from Jersey. 30 year Jersey representative. But where you live, where you live at now? I, I bought a house and got married in but, Vermont. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. You're in Vermont right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love Jersey. Now he needs to get this. Hold on. All right. I know you want to hold on to your Jersey roots, however, but. Oh. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta let it go, bro. You gotta let it go. You're in Vermont now. You're skiing. I'm skiing. You're skiing. Yo, y'all aren't even Vermont. nice, bro. Uh-huh. <laughs> y'all aren't even nice no more. <laughs> I should have called in more frequently. <laughs> Damn. Come on, you can't. You can't leave the show. You you called three months ago. Come on, you gotta call like weekly at least. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, come on. Come on. You know? <laughs> Word, man. You still trying to claim Jersey? Hey, man, ain't nothing wrong with Vermont. How long you been in Vermont, by the way? See, you said that shit. You white now. (laughs) (laughs) That's funny. Wow. You said no. You good? You good? You good? No, no, no. In in 2012, I I moved from Florida, and uh, I I moved up to New Hampshire, but I, I, I. yeah, that's really white. But uh, yeah, bro. I moved to Vermont. I moved to Vermont about three years ago after I got married, and you know, you know, had, had a little boy. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations, buddy! So, you know, Congratulations, the man! So I appreciate that. We appreciate yes, you, sir. man. Yes, sir. Yes, brother, man. It's a good talk to you, by the way. Well, so we got we got to get Jay on yeah. the phone, man. We Listen, do. I got to call Jazzy. Okay. All right, Casey. All right, Casey. No I'll hit you. No doubt, man. Thank All right, you. Bro. All right, One. Peace. Big shout out to Casey, one stop. Yeah. Oh, I've never been this let's, busy. Let's try to get the man on the hour on the phone. Let's just go on. Let's Lines get... haven't been this busy since the first episode. Yeah, no, nah, yesterday it was, a, it was a thing, man. This thing was a thing. Yesterday was a thing. I'm very upset there's no photos or videos. I'm very upset. Nah, Gary took a terrible video. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you got to see it, right? I don't, I don't think he surprised. understands the concept of panic. <laughs> <laughs> right? I got to show you, it's crazy. Is he up? Leave it up to Gary, yeah. He probably still thinks he's on the show. Like, I'm tired, man. What time did y'all leave the leave the leave, leave the street yesterday? Well, probably by eight o'clock, eight thirty. Before the rain. Yeah. Jay not available. But that sound the tone leaves a text or voice. Why you sound tough on your answer machine? Jersey, what's <laughs> up, man? Give me a call back. I'm at the um I'm doing the podcast, so we wanted to talk about yesterday. I'm here with Al. It's me, Al Tidre, and Gary Fax. So let's let's uh, can we bring in James Tate for a minute? Yeah, of all course. Right? Yeah, bring in James. Because this come guy on. comes from South Carolina and all that. Yeah, come you on, know. bring him. Bring in James. James, yeah. you want to come over here for a minute, man? I don't know. Have you seen my performance? Has he seen it? No. Have you seen my performance? I was there on stage. No, 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 no. The 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 angle that oh, Gary, Gary filmed. Died. Oh my God! He doesn't understand the concept of panic. Yeah, have, have it. Please put it up. Uh, oh, I, I'm gonna have to. Get, you know, James happens to have your performance. Oh, does he? I bet you shot it better than Gary. <laughs> <laughs> right, Gary just had it right here on this part of the stage where the DJ was at. I'm over here. He doesn't do this. Oh. You just hear me yelling. Right, and then I happened to walk back into the frame. Mm. I'm like, was he on the tripod? Like, no, no, he's, no, in po- he's in podcast mode. It was it was that was that he's the deal? Po- he's in podcast mode. Oh see? my god! He just sits right there and talks into the mic. Right. What's you, up, Jay? Gary yeah, wasn't on the tripod. Gary, Gary. word. Ah oh, man, yeah. Introduce the, the, the guy, man. Come on, no, I, got, I, got, I got James in the house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In the house. All the way from North Carolina, South Carolina. He's down in the Carolinas. And you came up for um, 
Well, I guess I should ask you, what brought you to New York City? <laughs> well, there's a couple of different things. Uh, basically, there's an event yesterday. I wanted to come back and uh, work with Al to help him to do, uh, to do what I can do to help him. Uh, let me give you a shout out, man. Amazing performance yesterday. Oh. <laughs> thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Really get you down. Appreciate um, that. You enjoyed it. Good, yeah, good. Most definitely. And he recorded it, man. Oh, uh, yeah. I got to see his footage. I think it's much better. <laughs> <laughs> Gary's was wacky. It was, I mean, I heard it. It sounded good. I just couldn't see what I was doing. Right. You right. know, that's kind of the important part, Gary. I want to see what I'm doing so I could, you know, so I could, he doesn't uh, even what's care. the word? Yeah, he's just there. He's he like, doesn't care. He's like, fuck <laughs> rock. He's, he's, he's repeatedly <laughs> saying, shut up in his head. In, right in the chat room, they're saying, Gary takes terrible video. Oh, that was Robin. She's cracking on you right now. Uh, she's like, put up Gary's video. But yes, please put up Gary's video. Yeah, it was, it was a good time, man. What do you think about what was going on? Besides, uh, Yeah, I'm going to say it's amazing working with Al Pizzario. Um, I've been in and out of the entertainment business for the last 30 years, but I have never worked with someone with so much professionalism, dedication, and is so precise about doing their work. Mm-hmm. It's an honor. It's a pleasure. And it's, um, it's, I, it's a, I got you. <laughs> I know what it is. Don't worry about it. Go ahead, go. Yeah, and I enjoy working with him so much. Um, the whole event yesterday was incredible. Um, from start to stretch, I want to say thanks God because the rain came just in enough time for us to get the equipment out, mm-hmm. just in enough time for us to get everybody out of there. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, it was yeah. just when it was over, man. And uh, as I'll say, we prayed before. The event, and we prayed again after the event, and everything, man, turned out just the way God promised. It. And it was supposed to rain yesterday. Yeah, it was actually supposed it's to rain. Thunderstorms. It did yeah. rain. Yeah, yeah. Late, late. after it was over, yeah. which yeah. was incredible. Because I, I, when I was driving back to Queens, it started raining, and I was like, "Oh, I hope they got the stuff, you know, I out know. of the rain." Yeah, yeah. So you know what I'm gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna sit for five, ten minutes. I'm gonna let Ty Dre talk. <laughs> All this fucking Over to you, Ty. <laughs> Back to you, Ty Dre. Yeah, so what's going on, Ty? You can hit the button, the show's over. Okay. okay. <laughs> but, um, no, no, no. First of all, we, we missed you at the event yesterday. I think you were working or something was going yes. on. You know, life. Life life was happening. Life was happening. You know happening. what I'm saying? So you got to miss some stuff, you know, and we. I really wanted to blaze that stage. I really wanted to perform in front of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have been like really. See. You know, don't yeah, never seen me live I, right? I would have jumped out and grabbed the mic. We'd have did the song together, bro. We, like we I'd have came out and been bugging. Like I'd be like, Ty Dre's on, give me the mic. <laughs> That's it. By the way, I gotta big a, give a non shout out. Who's the girl who has a show this that the show's called Give Me the Mic? That's Deborah she, Coco. Oh uh, yeah, Deborah. Yeah, yeah, Deborah. Listen, hold on. Okay. Who's Deborah Coco? I'm gonna deal with her right now. Okay. Are you in the chat room, Deborah? Because I think you were. You were in the chat room. Deborah, let me tell you something. When I say give me the mic. I don't want the name of your show. She was like, I was like, give me the mic. She goes, that's the name of my show. I said, no, no. I'm like, no, give me the mic. This is on stage. <laughs> right? this is on stage. Like, I'm about to perform, right? And she's looking at me like, no. And then you hear Jeff on the side. Uh, MC Sticky's up next. And then she turns. She's like, where's MC Sticky? <laughs> <laughs> and I go, give me the mic. I'm MC Sticky. <laughs> Yo, so crazy. I'm like, wow. Okay. But um, yeah, it was crazy, man. It was um big shout out to Deborah Coco. She was really cool. Nah, I, I really wish I was able to uh see this and attend and perform and stuff of that nature. I did get to perform like two days before. Um luckily, uh I performed at um the Uptown Market Festival down in Harlem. Where was that at? What street was that? Twelfth Avenue. Avenue. They had a big festival over there. Mm. Um a lot of food vendors and stuff of that big stage. It was like three thousand people out there, um, so that was that was fun to be able to do. I definitely wish I was there for Saturday. Hopefully Wednesday's happening. Yeah, I got to talk to Maria tomorrow. Okay, I think we're just gonna go and bombard. Okay, that works too. Bum rush. Just let me know. Yeah, I, and I, and and she said she would give us the time. Okay. So, but I'm gonna talk. She's she's coming in tomorrow because we do her show tomorrow. So okay. it'll be like me, you, Edie, and on stuff. Okay. Well, I already I already yeah, warned them. So yeah, they're prepared. Oh yeah, I know. So. Oh, how long are games. you going to be here? Uh, maybe another three weeks. It all depends tomorrow. All right. Tomorrow. So I'll see you on Wednesday. Gary, you busy on Wednesday? I should, I should be there. Okay. Ow. Operative word is should. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let me tell you something. The reason why we have this um, thing with Gary is because we love him so much. I don't want anybody out there thinking yeah. anything other. Yeah, okay? Because he brings a lot of information, a lot to the table. A lot of people don't know the different moving parts that he does. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah, and he organizes a lot of things. Yeah. So I had to give you the props, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just because right. I'm really joking with him, you know, I'm just, I just be joking. Because Gary's, you know, he's easy. You know, he's the quiet guy. You yeah. know, he's the guy you pick on in school. Somebody got to take the punches. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, when things go wrong, you got to have a guy that you can yeah, blame stuff on. Blame. Gary's very easy to blame. Yeah. So that's all it is. Because yeah. he's not going to say anything. about yeah, I did that. Yeah, he know he didn't do it. <laughs> you know, he's like, yeah, I did that. He's like, yeah, yeah, that's what he does. So. Yeah, Gary is, is a pivotal part of the show. Um, yeah. Even though I'm very curious what this kid is like, fifteen year old um, kid. I'm very curious what the sixteen year old kid you keep mentioning is like. But we love Gary as well. Yeah, we love Gary. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, but we're just we're thinking about upgrading our staff, Gary. Just to let you know, um, didn't Maria Robin said? Didn't Maria mention that she babysat on Star? And I think that is correct. Wow. Yeah, she was on Star's babysitter. Wow. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's a random yeah, thought. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It just. I guess she, you know, you know, all the shows kind of tie in, right. sort of. So I think we were talking about On Star last week, and then she was like, "Yeah, I was On Star babysitter." I was like, "Oh, so I had to change his diapers." <laughs> so we went through that routine. I want to know why Renee Minkins doesn't call in. What's up? I hey, see, Renee, I see, her, I see her in the chat room. Renee, call the show. Yeah, this is the homecoming. Stop episode. laughing. Everybody call in. Call the show. Call the show. Except call for my mother, if she calls, decline the call. I got the number on the bottom home and put the number back up. I know. She I mean, Renee, me. you actually have my number number. You could actually just call my phone, but the number's at the bottom screen, 908-242-6234, right? 908-242-6234. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Casey, Renee, call me. Okay. Oh, what, are we rapping in the chat room now? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Renee, call me. <laughs> wow, okay. Give me the mic. I found love. Oh, you in said, the you chat said, uh, flash was there? Flash, show, look. Oh, Grandmaster just, Flash. You know, oh, you got to talk about talked that. about that. Yeah, the just, oh the things that happen on stage with, like, you know when you have that moment and, and somebody comes in that you haven't seen for many years mm-hmm. and he, they, he or she had done well mm-hmm. and you say, well, I remember this person when. Mm-hmm. So Flash comes to the stage. Did you know he and was he, coming? I have no idea. Grandmaster Flash. I'm sorry, people, because, you know, I know him as Flash. You know. <laughs> it is what it is. So he's coming up to the stage. And Flash, is, if, if you know Flash, he's a very subtle person. Like, he's not running up the stage. He's just walking. He says, Al, can I have the mic, please? I said, Flash, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> just take the mic. Like, you're here. Right. Okay, yeah. Grab the mic. Yo, Jazzy. The hell, man? You didn't call me for this? <laughs> that, was the, that was the start. That's the first thing he said. That was the start. It was really kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, yeah. Was you nervous at this point? What was about that he said? Not at all. Not at all. But that's where he was at with it. He, he jumped on the mic and complained. He's like, Jazzy. Jay. You didn't call me about this. We talk twice a year about tech and all sorts of other stuff, but you didn't call me for this. <laughs> and I'm like, where is this shit going? Right? I'm going to get to the point that you're here. And he's like, no. Daryl Hicks called me <laughs> and told me about this. Where's Jazzy? <laughs> right? yeah. And I'm like, Flash, Jazzy's over there. He says, yeah. And I don't think he got past that. Like, he just kind of jumped on and kind of said that and, like, just got off. Oh, nice. You know what I'm saying? I think he said, you know, congratulations. He might have, but I got to look at the tape because all I remember was him beefing that Jazzy didn't call him about it. That's all I remember about it. And and the relationship span, because the government Red Alert was there. Right. So, and then Busy B showed up. We didn't expect yeah. him. And Busy was like, you know. He popped up out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freedom I, Williams came. Freedom, Williams. Freedom Williams showed up. Yeah. I mean, it was just going on and on and Grand on. Pooba. And Ge- Geechee Dan showed yeah, up. Was there. Geechee and was there. Gre- so, we're going ready. We're going to the mural now. Because Jazzy had a mural made by Steve Cass. We picking that up? 
Yeah, yeah, okay. I think that's Casey. Steven from New Brunswick. Hello? Yeah, hi. This is Steven. Hey, Steven, what's up? You're on the air. Rock Logic. Hello. 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 Al Pazal, Ty yeah. Dre, James. What's happening, brother? Yeah, Steven. I'm just doing the Steven thing. Okay. Doing the Steven thing. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> He called in. What's happening? I saw you making. I saw you making fun of the guy from Vermont. I used to live in Vermont. Oh, big enough. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you you used to. You used to. Where you live now? Do exist there. I live in Vermont. This is Casey. <laughs> oh, okay. It's Casey again. I'm like the number looks yeah, familiar. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, oh shit. Yeah, we gotta let you go, bro. We gotta let you go. I'm gonna hit I know, you back. I know. I know how to do that though. I love it, Kay. Peace. Right, peace. I like he was able to actually like hide his voice. Yeah, he was actually pretty good at it. That was yeah. very good. That is a testament how white he's become. Because <laughs> he actually <laughs> sounded like a white guy. Yeah, yeah he had me fooled. I was like, because I saw the number, but I, hey, Renee, what's up? Casey then called in twice. Twice. All right, he, he prank called us. All right, he prank called us, Before and you he still haven't in. called once. Uh, uh, uh. The number's on the screen. Hold on, I'm put on the screen for. Her. All right, I'm putting on the screen for you, Renee. Don't make me call you. I don't think I have your that's number. That's what she wants. Yeah, that's what it is. Right. She wants superstar status. So, continuing the, the story, so we, I said, okay, Flash, come with me. I'm going to bring you to Jay, and then we're going to go do the walk to the mural because that's what the next plan was. I'm walking with Flash, you know, a, a three-minute walk from the stage to the mural mm -hmm. turned out to be a 20-minute walk. Okay. It was like that. Because you're walking with Flash. It was like that. Everybody stopped him. Yeah. That's a Flash. We got to go. Can I take a picture? Yo, Flash, but man, yo. You know? And we get over there to the mural. There go Jay. Now he says, yo, what the hell, man? And I'm just trying to get, yo, we just got to get this done, fellas. Right. Let's just get this done. That's it. Then you can have a conversation, do whatever you want to do. Beautiful moment because he got to see the mural finish. Mm. He got to sign his name on it. Nice. Steve Cass did an excellent job. And then all the graffiti artists, they did pieces all the way around, f further down on the wall. Okay. So Bomb 5, Jerry Mays, all these guys. Were, they tagged so it. They tagged it. They, I mean, now that wall is like an official, you know, Jazzy J wall. Mm -hmm. Incredible stuff happens when you bring people together and you let the creative juices work and not the egos and not the, you know, all the different differences that people have. Mm -hmm. And that was incredible. That was incredible. So, yeah, it was it was like that. It was so... Rock, will you say that out of many different events that you've gone to, was it a different feel in the air when you were walking around? You know, everybody was on the side just vibing and talking. Yeah, was yeah. that, would you say that or, or what? Yeah, it was like, what it was like, uh, what, actually what it was like, it was like going to an old school jam, yeah. right? It was like we were at a jam and we're all kids mm. and we're all sitting there kind of rediscovering each other, mm. right? You know what I'm saying? I, I saw Kevin Kev Rockwell, he ran up and hugged me, you know. And so many different people that I hadn't seen in years. It was like a reunion, really. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Of all the people you hadn't seen in years. And all of you, we all shared the same common thing. That we were all part of this thing since the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know, and we were expressing a lot of love with each other. And it was, it was, yeah. I mean, it was, it was harmonious. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I guess that's the word I'm looking for. It was very harmonious. And it was good to see so many people that we don't get to see, you know, on a regular basis. So... It was. It was definitely. It was definitely on time. Yeah. yeah. Um, Mark, the response that we got this morning, a couple of responses was, "This was the best concert of the year." Yeah, I bet. It's, that was the response. Who else performed earlier? Man, let me try to remember the list. Let, let's talk about the DJs, okay? Yeah. Grand with the Theodore. Yes. All, All right. right. Scratchmaster, Jazzy G. Um, DJ Ultimate was there handling all that stuff. He didn't get the spin. But he did, but so DJ Supreme. Um, who else was there? 
I'm trying to back. Uh, I already said backspin. That's that's all. Oh, and DJ Red Alert. Right, and Red DJ. And Red was there. Red, so it, Red was there for DJing, and then I got him there to to give the proclamation to Jazzy okay. and all that. So I try to, you know, on the fly, you have to kind of think of things at a moment that will make a better picture, a better moment, a better history, a better memory for him, because mm-hmm. it was about him. So I, I knew that they're cousins, and I wanted him to get, you know, I said, J- Red, just stay here, and let's make this thing happen. And also, Red gave a, a, a story that a lot of people don't know, that Jazzy was the one that started at Kick First. Right, First. right. Like everybody yeah. think it's Red Alert. No. And yeah, it Jazzy wasn't. Got it, and Red actually told the actual story. Because mm. I remember when they announced that they were going to be playing hip-hop on a main station, which was Kiss. And it was the Jazzy J mm-hmm. show, right? And back then, they actually had, they, they wouldn't go to the station. They would actually make the tape. And they would play the tape at the, at the station is how mm. it initially started. And you know, Jazzy being Jazzy, who lives in the moment, to him, the radio wasn't anything because he was making so much money at the clubs. You know what I'm saying? Maybe Al Pizarro. <laughs> you must, it must be on with somebody in the chat. But I'm um, on. The voicemail, press two. Hello. 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 Renee. Hello. Renee. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we finally got her. Oh my God, Renee! Finally, <laughs> you know we've been pranked three times since we asked you to come on the show. Casey, I was trying to do a conference call because I'm like in the middle of like I'm taking stuff out of my car and putting it in the store. I'm trying to clean my car out right now. Casey's so special like that. Cool because I was, like, I was doing stuff. So, Renee, oh, so Casey, yeah. how, how was your experience yesterday? Because you were like the stage manager, right? Because you were running the schedule. How did that go for you yesterday? Um, well, first I want to say um, thank you to Al. Thank you. First, thank God. Thank Al. Thank Irene. And uh, what was the other lady's name? Grace. Grace. Yep. Right. I want to thank them and everybody that was you know, working with us. It was a really great experience. It was a little stressful sometimes because we had to keep switching things around, but I realized that, you know, the logistics changed pretty much with the space. But it was a great experience. You handled it well. Because there was a lot of changes that went on. There were a lot of, I know a lot of changes in the schedule happened and y'all, you know, and we had to kind of jump in and do stuff, but that's what stage managing is about. Um, Renee, did you know, did you know, did you know know that I got a citation? Did you know that? (laughs) Yes, I knew. Okay. I didn't know. I didn't know until today. Oh, yeah, I knew. Um, yeah, um, I, we got the name from Jazzy early on when we were playing at the event. Ah, okay. I, I, I appreciate it. Thank you, Renee. Thank you. You know, as a stage manager before I left. Jazzy Jay is the one. What? Jazzy Jay gave the name, so that was really nice. Yeah, it was. You know, it was my. It was was a very pleasant experience working with him. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. some people have egos that are so great, and I, I don't have faces for that. But he was very nice and informative, and you know, he got it done. Right, got it. Man, well, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna tell you, you organized the stage well, and you kept the show flowing, so it was dope. You did well, actually, job. Al was the one that kind of put the blueprint together, so I didn't do any of that. I'll put the blueprint together. You, you still had, had to, the, you still had to manage it, it right? Well, you yeah, still had to manage it. I, I think Casey right. wants to be on the line with you. Hold on for one second. Hold on. Yes, Casey. Call from. Hey, I was trying to three-way with you. With yeah, Renee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Casey, 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 hey, Casey we'll, we'll give you a timeout. Casey. We'll you a timeout. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. On. Hold on. I'm oh, calling K. Yeah, you're on with Renee. Casey, Renee. Oh wait, hold on. Sorry, we did this dumb thing. Yeah, together yeah, uh, we made it. Right. Okay, yeah. gang. It's the Casey and Renee show. Go. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, wait, it's wait. overtime. <laughs> well, first I need to just say 
was like, somebody, somebody said that I needed a, a, a call. No, I don't need nobody to call me. I could have called and I was just busy. That's all. I don't, you know, put up myself so, up for, um, you know, picking attention like that. <laughs> so she won a three-way and everyone forget I'm in Vermont. So I had to send smoke signals. So this took too long. Got you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm trying to roll off your earlier joke. Sorry. Uh, no, it's all good. Yeah, no, no, no. Because you're Vermont. I know, I know, I know. That's a rule. It was a rule area. It's a rule area. Renee, it's uh, it's uh, a pleasure to bring you into a platform to prep you because you're doing the Hip Hop Boulevard Awards, and this right. is the preparation for all that stuff. And I'm glad that LaShawn yeah. was able to come in and help you and assist you with that. Yeah. But everything... Yeah, yeah, everything that we do is to get us prepared for the next thing that we're going to do. And Rock has always right. been a person that, you know, sometimes I come over here to the podcast and we got this now, you know, and this is what we do. We just go and we let's elevate a little more now. If we can, let's elevate and let's elevate right. those around us. So, congratulations on you know, on you doing an excellent job and Jeff and everybody you know and you know we keep pushing forward. Right now, you guys have something yeah. coming up with domestic domestic violence or something. Yeah, what's going on with that? Guys? Yeah, yeah, what's going on with that? What are you guys doing with that? What's happening? You asking me or you asking? Al? I'm asking anybody that'll answer. Go ahead, oh. Renee. Take it. Go, Renee. Take it. Do it. Your show. Well, it's it's just an event uh, to support and honor women that have been through uh, domestic violence, an empowerment event. event. Uh, we're kind of looking for a couple of people to uh, be panelists. There's one lady that I had in mind, but I just found out. Al, I don't know if you got the information, but I just found out she moved to Charlotte, oh. and I'm just so sad because she's not so that's a powerful woman. South Carolina? Book, so. She went to South Carolina. Uh, no. Yeah. North, North Carolina. Carolina. North, North Carolina. Carolina. North Carolina. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm about to say, James, take yeah. anything about that? Hey, I'll be, Just, up, I'll um, be up on <laughs> November the 6th in South Carolina. We'll be at the South Carolina State House. So let's let's figure it out. Oh, but the, hey, how you doing, Renee? So the domestic violence thing is going to be Saturday. It's going to be at 9 a.m. Right. We're at a free breakfast from... Uh, Hip Hop Boulevard is going to be 149th Street in the Bronx. Uh, a company called Bronx Connect. Mm -hmm. Bronx Connect. All right. It's free. You don't have to pay anything. Come and learn, get some information, and apply it so that way you're able to do something better in your current situation or help somebody else that's in the situation. Okay. So is this like a counseling thing that's going to be that day? No, it's kind of like, but. Like when we did our panels before, yeah, same kind of concept. Because I always have first thing, I always have some play, somebody who could help, somebody who's been through it, somebody who has a, uh, on the opposite side, and the different pieces that somebody may take in reference to it. Right. So that way, the conversation is everything from question, answer, different solutions, and you know, and uh, and apply it. Right. right you know, right. so. And that's that's what we're doing. So Lashawn is going to help us with that. Renee is going to help us with that. And you know, I'm depending on my on the women around and in Hip Hop Boulevard to help us platform this thing, so that way it will be a powerful a panel for those people suffering or dealing or knowing about domestic violence. We got to we you know the the thing about Hip Hop Boulevard is that to touch the subject that we relate to, and to use hip hop. Have that piece to communicate it. Okay. And I've seen this thing grow, which has been dope. You know what I'm saying? I've seen it go from, you know, when you were doing the health fairs, mm. right? The health fairs that you were doing, you know, last two years ago, right. before COVID, when you were doing that over there by Bronx Connect. And um, and the insurance, right. Right? right? Didn't didn't you get an insurance thing done? Yeah. Now for hip hop. Right, now for... we now we have Blue Cross and Blue Shield and Metro Plus with us. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. big. That's big. That is big. So you can offer that to like the pioneers. Or... We're working on we're working on a, a piece that is going to be more simpler for them to uh, to navigate. Cause see, the problem is information. 
how do I do this? If I'm a pioneer and I haven't done it, how do I do it? Right. So our thing is, let's have the people right there so you can do it. So we talk about it, we discuss it, discuss it, discuss it, and we ask all the questions we need to ask, and then we say, okay, where you at now? He says, man, this sounds good. How do I do it? Right there. Right there, right next to you, right next to whoever's sitting there. They're right there, talk right to them now. right there, right now, get it done now, and that's it. That's the plan. Robin says hip hop CPR. There you go. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> She's always plugging the CPR company. Hip hop CPR. Yeah, they need to learn it though. That's the truth. Right. Everybody should learn it. Uh Mitchell Graham That's says Peso. Peso. He says it was an, an exciting day at Jazzy J's Festival. Peso rocked the house. Oh, he, he performed. I, I I saw him oh, perform. He killed, it. killed it. He killed it. And he 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 played like all new stuff. Yeah. And it was all fire. You know what I'm saying? I was watching like, oh. And it was stuff that, what was great about that is he did like what artists should do is he just did like his new stuff and people were into it. You know, and he delivered it with such energy that it was dope. So big shout out to Peso because he rocked it. Uh, let me see. Renee called me. Go back and watch all the videos because I wasn't able to enjoy the thrill. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to watch. That's it, the one thing about when you're doing production <laughs> of a show, Renee. That's the one thing. That's, that's the down. That's the downside of it. You're not gonna be able to sit I mean, as a okay. spectator. But believe yes, me, if if the the film crew and everybody's correct and all that stuff, you'll be able to enjoy it and then say to yourself, "Wow, I right. produced this." Right. We'll make that's sure the, to send you uh, Gary's yeah, footage. I'm looking forward to the footage. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, think, I, think Gary, I think Gary tagged you in some footage if you want to see nothing. Yeah, he did. See, uh, he did. <laughs> yes. So did you see that? Did you see that? We had some great photographers out here, too. Yeah, you did. I'm sorry? You did. I know. Just not Gary. Yeah, we had some great photographers. That's all. Nah, nah, he did what he could. It was dope, though. <laughs> he caught the whole performance, sorry, too. Right. All the way down to when I was talking, we were doing the thing, you were... Taking us to the wall. He caught everything. Oh, nice. Yeah, he caught everything. You, you, yeah. could, hear, you could hear everything. Yeah, just fine. Just couldn't see. Oh, that's great. Yeah, 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 that was good. Great for audio. So, and, so and Renee. I want to say thank you for the videographers that like, came out. Crazy. Huh? I want to say thank you also to the videographers and all the photographers that came out. Right, and Bronsnet was there. Yeah, Bronsnet was there. Was there. Yeah, Bronsnet was there. Yeah, Bronsnet was there, yes. Yeah, I did an interview. Street line, there was a street line video came out. Yeah. Right. Mr. Excitement was there. IAS was there. IAS was IAS there. Was Joey there. and them. We can't forget about yes. them. And Sons of Daughters right. of Hip Hop. Again, right. and Tony Herbert with the bus. Tony Herbert. Oh, oh Tony he, Herbert came? Oh, he, yeah. he says, oh, he just brought, I didn't see the bus. He lit up because he, he had to go to that. another he location. Right. But okay, he put okay. the bus over the tent. Go ahead, Renee. I'm sorry. I'm cutting you off. Go ahead. Uh, no, no, no. Y'all was just saying the same thing about the bus. Tony Herbert's bus. Yeah, yeah, we. I didn't know he I brought was saying it. That thing, yeah. What were yeah. you saying? That was awesome. No, I was just saying that. I, I was kind of saying the same thing, so that's why I stopped saying it. When you were talking about Tony Herbert coming out with the bus, yeah. that was awesome. Yeah, that was dope. Took up a quarter of the block. Really? <laughs> oh, there, yeah. yeah, he got yeah. long bus. Oh. He ain't got the short yellow school yeah, bus. Right, right. Yeah, he bus. got a tall bus. You going to know when he shows up. Long yeah. tents. Oh, wow. It was nice. Yo, oh. yeah! Big shout out to Black and Gold. That was um, that was Daryl Hicks, Black and Gold. They oh, were there. Okay, they were there yesterday. Yeah. Black and Gold was absolutely possibly there. So, thank you, Robbie. Yeah, they were definitely there. Rock, you need a bus. Yeah, I do. <laughs> you got a citation. Because now I have a citation. Citation. That's a citation. <laughs> so I need a bus out. I need a. I need a. I need a. And my bus has to be bigger than Tony's. I, right? <laughs> if Tony's bus is 54 inches, I need mine to be 55. Yeah. Right? Okay, I don't care if they, I, you could poke the windshield wiper out and that gives me the extra inch. I'm just saying <laughs> I need a bigger bus than Tony Herbert's bus. That's all. Have a saltation on the side of the bus. Yes. Out of your face, it says yes. Saltation. Yes. And, and I'm going to put my. Hold on. There you go. Show it. I'm going to put my citation up. For the people that might have just joined. If you just joined, I got a citation, y'all. I'm going to put it up right there. Right. <laughs> yeah. Thank, thank you so much. I've been waiting for this a very long time. In case you forgot. Yes, I saw some of my wow. other colleagues get cit citations. I was like, 
What about me? You know wow. what I'm saying? You know how you be you be, you, you shake their hand when you like. What about me? <laughs> yeah, no, I was dope. Yeah, I'm so listen. This is going on my wall. I'm going after I leave the show. I'm going straight to the frame shop immediately. Yeah, I'm not even fucking around. I'm going. Yeah, there, there's a frame shop right on Roosevelt Avenue. I'm going right there. I'll be like, yo, frame that up. That's gotta go on the wall, bro. That is not staying in this. This is nice, but I'm putting it in the frame. That's smart. So yeah, that's the deal. Well, this is the funny joke behind getting that was. It was uh, the name somebody wrote on the list, Louis Smurr. Who? <laughs> Who? Louis, Louis, Louis Smurr. And I'm trying to figure out, is that R supposed to be Smith? Or is it actually an R? Oh, wow. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, that, that's a good question. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, uh, who even came up with that name? <laughs> Louis R? <laughs> Louis R. No, Smith? Smurr. 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 Louis Smurr. Louis again, S. The last name was not Smith. It was S M I R H. Oh Lord! Oh Lord! No, that is not it. It's Smith. <laughs> if you don't know, it's Smith. Exactly. Jesus and, Christ! And so then when I had to reach out to Jesse J about that, and then he's like, you know what? Well, let me. What name are we putting on this? Is it going to be MC Sticky? Is it going to be Rock Logic? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, he Christ. called me. He called me. He said, "Uh, I'm, I'm getting a, I'm getting a plaque done, right? This is a guy because he, he want to say what it was, right?" And he's like, what name do you want to go on it? And I said, put Rock Logic because it's part of the engineering thing. You right. know what I'm saying? It's like, bet. So then that's right, how right. we got that, right? You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Steve Cash. What's happening, Steve Cash? Blessings. There you go. Salute there. and blessings right there. Sandrea Coleman, thank you. Yes, I got a citation. I'm feeling good about that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The room is happening. It's not happening. It's, it's up in. It's Steve, not you up get up a coming. chance to call. Come on, Steve Cash. We were just talking about you, too. Call in. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. So he I'm did the graffiti, go, right? Yeah. All right, Renee, car. we thank you for calling. All right. Take care, right. Renee. Huh? Oh, thank you. Sal is in New York. I don't know if you know. I saw him at the campus. All right, so he just got back. Yeah. He was at a show. Yeah, he was at a, yeah, he was at a show yesterday. That's why he couldn't go. But he supported financially. Oh, uh, no, and they... And they have the fever show today at the, um, the cancer walk. You know, they do the same. Right. For the cancer walk. Yeah. Great. I'm going to talk to Sal later right. on. Thank yeah. you, Renee. Okay. All right, see Welcome. you. Welcome. Take care. Um, yes. Call from Bobby Cowan. All right, Bobby. Oh, Yo. What's up? Bobby Cowan in the house. <laughs> BC. BC in the house. What's going on, brother? Oh, not too much, man. Just sitting here watching the show. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. Great job yesterday, Al. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So, congratulations, Rock. You got your citation. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. That's why you had all that silence. This is like a silence. I'm like, you know, I'm like know, what else? <laughs> Yeah, 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 definitely, yeah, yeah. And I won't sleep on your performance either, Rock. Huh? I won't sleep on your performance either. Oh, oh, did you? Oh, you, you enjoyed my performance, brother? <laughs> yes, I did. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Come on, you've been with me a lot of years, though. You seen me pull that off a few times. In my, oh, in my oh absolutely, absolutely. It's the very first time uh, we went to Massachusetts for your first shake with your mama, baby. Yeah, Yo. yeah, that's right. <laughs> and, and then I and then I only had the six words. I didn't have anything else. That was it. I just, yeah, another call, man. Oh yeah, hold on, hold on, Bobby. This is Steve Cash, I think. Hold on. Hello. Call from. Six. Facebook. Hello. Oh, yeah, you don't have. Yeah, hello. What's up, man? This is um Paul. Man. Paul. Who's this, Steve? From um, Sons and Daughters of Hip Hop. Oh, oh, there you go. Yeah, there you go, Samuel. Word, hold on. Let me join the line. Hold on. Oh, we have a party here today. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Why am I not merging here? What's happening? Okay, Bobby? Yes. Stop. Okay. And who's the other person in the room? Samuel. Samuel. Yo, what's up, guy? How you doing? Good, we got a party. Let's talk, baby. What's going on with you? I'm doing good, man. I'm looking at some of the footage. Hey, Al, 
if you could do me a favor, can we um do that whole thing over on this on Saturday again so I can get some more footage? <laughs> Jazzy J Day Two. <laughs> Hey, Samuel, I don't think you realize something. Hey, uh, he's going to love this. Look, Rock, can you pull out your citation again, please? Yeah, hold on. I, I, think, I think you missed the most important part of the show yesterday. Yeah, hold on. I got to pull that up. There, there's a part in there that says something about sons and daughters. Can you read that, please? Oh, wow. Let me see that. You know I'm blind. Let me find it. reaching out to the community. Bro, through the culture of hip hop, we honor extraordinary talents and uh, your dedication to your craft and continued growth of the cultural phenomenon of hip hop. Know that you are an inspiration to the borough, significant in the community, and the greatest ever set of leaders. Keep up the great work uh, you're doing in the Bronx, New York, making the world. Uh, oh, there it is, right? It's at the bottom. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, presented on October 16th, first at the annual. Sons and Daughters of Hip Hop Festival. Oh. <laughs> it is on the citation, wow. my man. Hey, I'm gonna hold it up. Wow. I'm gonna hold it up so you can read it now. Hold on. <laughs> there it is. All right, all right. Well, first of- right there at the bottom. Right there. I got it close. There it is. That's it. Big- oh, the champ is here. What's up, DJ Jazzy G? Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Man, oh, so I think, oh, I think my man Lays is calling. Oh, wow, man, this is. Oh, let me just let me just verify. Today, hey, we're gonna have to yeah, 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 we're out. doing we're doing the conversation podcast right now with Al Pizarro and everybody. Oh, I, okay. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Hello, right, everybody. Right, all right. All right. Yeah. yeah. We up here. Nah, I, I, I hate to interrupt y'all. You know, I was just um, going and I'm doing my observation of the cane care as one thing tonight. So today, so I just was calling you to get your hey, get your take on it. Right? Okay, good, good. You know what? Someone, <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got problems now. I got backup. I said Big Daddy Kane is going to deal with Karis One. I think Big Daddy um, Kane's a better performer. Uh, okay. So you, you you know you know. First of all, let me just tell you this. Kane, and both of them are my brothers. I'm going to tell you a little funny story. Uh, the day that Kane moved into my crib, KRS One and Miss Melody helped him move in. <laughs> this, okay. is, this is because, you know, Kane and I used to be roommates. You, uh, uh, that's the story people, a lot of people know already. That's right. Uh, during, during the beginning of his albums, like Kane and, Kane and, uh, Kane and, uh, uh, you know, that's how it all started with Scoob and Scrap. And Scoob was my day one. Yeah. And we used to, you know, all the shows and stuff we used to put together, all that came out of the honeycomb. And Karis One moved him in. Uh, I just want to say, there it goes. I don't, and I and I got an insight on the format. Uh-oh. Um, I don't think Kane takes it. Oh, you're no friend. You're no friend. Uh-oh. No, listen, 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 guys, guys. Uh, and there's nobody more of Team Kane than I am. I'm Brooklyn all day. Exactly. I'm Team, I'm team Kane. You were there this for the rhymes. You were there for the vapors. Did he write the vapors? He on my kitchen table. He wrote it all on my kitchen table. Biz, rest in peace, Biz used to call my house all the time. Remember we used to have a house phone? And he'd call your house like, yo, lay, yo, lay. Don't get heavy with the rapers. Yo, he used to call you, rest in peace. God bless you, Biz. The check is in the mail. <laughs> oh my God! What is going on here? That was the icing no, but, on the cake. But, but, but I, I got the format. Okay. And Kane played into Karis One's format. He played into Karis One's format. I'm hearing the amount of songs, and then they got some break battle thing going on, and then there's three freestyles. Mm, uh, uh, Karis One, Chris is a dominant force on the stage. There's no doubt. And when it comes to freestyling, Chris is a monster just off the top of his head. I'm just, 
So, so up, that Robin. being said, shut up. Wait, 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 wait. That being said, I you. listen. You're no help. I, and I'm not. It's not that. I and listen, Rocco. It's not that because I, I am biased. I just want to let you know okay. that I am very biased as it pertains to Big Daddy Kane because this is close to my family. This is like literally my brother yes. for 35 years. Like somebody who's like my brother growing up. But I got to tell you something. It's gonna be a tough one, man. KRS one. Like I, I wish Kate because remember after Kane's first and second albums, he kind of went away for a while. Ah, uh, yeah. And it's just over time that he came back. And, and you know that Rock and, got a citation today. You know he got a citation. Oh yeah, Rock. What are we doing, Rock? What are we citing? Hey, oh, 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 just, just so you know. Okay, as a, as a true aficionado of hip hop and my contribution to the hip hop culture. The uh, good uh, uh, borough president, Ruben Diaz Jr., president of the borough Ruben of the Bronx, Diaz. presents a citation of merit to Rock Logic. And there's a whole I like that guy, Ruben him. Diaz. He's a, he's a smart man because yeah. Rock deserves that citation. That's, That's what I'm saying. saying. That's what I'm saying. Explosion. <laughs> Explosion. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you hooked it up. So I'm gonna... but, 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 can I say this to you? I just want to say. But Kane, the thing about Kane, though, so you you can't count him out because Kane to mess around and pull Jay Z out on you, and that would shut everything down. That oh, would yeah, just that's, destroy that's, everything. That's, that's a fact. Highly could, doubt it, though. Highly could. Doubt. Kane saying. to mess around and pull out Jay Z on you. I'm, uh, seeing, I'm hearing something. I'm hearing I something in the. That. We'll see. I'm hearing something in the brush. We'll I see. Doubt we'll doubt. see. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say what I heard. I'm just saying. Uh, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm, I'm just all I'm saying to you is I've seen I, I've seen this before, and um, and Kane is amazing freestyle artist, amazing. And in fact, as he is what Karis One walked into a left hook. Let me tell you how he walked into a left hook. Left Here hook. It comes now. They only giving him ten records a piece. Karis One's got more banging street records than Kane. That's true. Way more banging street records than Kane. I played him the other day in the car. I hated it. Yeah, that's true. Uh, uh, Kane, Kane has got big giant records, and it's a female quotient that K- KRS One yeah. might not get because the ladies love Big Daddy Kane. Yep. Yeah. All right. Big, uh, no. Here you go. Hold on. Now you got the DJ battle, right? So, all right. Scratch or kick a free. Uh, well, let me explain something to you. Skill-wise, you give it to Scratch, but this is not a skills contest. This is a party. Kid Capri wins the party all the time. No doubt. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. I agree with that. 100%. Which I said the same thing. And, I said and, and the fact that Kane didn't get Mr. C is telling, him, is telling me something. Something weird. It's telling me something. Because if Kane is doing something at this level, on this magnitude, Mr. C should have DJed for him. Mm. Okay, I, I can agree with That's that. That's telling me that Kane either doesn't have it together mentally where he is putting the pieces in place that he needs because he should have went and got schooled and scrapped. And, and, and he should have got the whole you know, thing. Right it all should you know. happen. <laughs> <laughs> it all should happen. So if we well, don't, he don't, don't, he don't, got, he don't got, He don't got schooled and scrapped coming out? Uh, okay, I, I don't know if I'm supposed to let this out. I'm going to keep my mouth all I'm oh, saying yeah, to you yeah, is, yeah. is, is Brooklyn, you got to come all the way right in Brooklyn. That's now, right. As much as I love my brother Kane, I think KRS One takes tonight. That's all I'm saying. That's what okay. I'm saying. All right, all right. There you go. All right. You know, and, and we're gonna deal with that. Robin says this is. A I'm gonna be on my. I'm gonna be on my live. Um, doing a, a, a back and forth with KRS One and Big Daddy Kane, uh, and I'm gonna be playing some joints. And I'm just telling you, uh, when you hear um, uh, uh, the sound of the police, when you start hearing, you know, you just joints that KRS One got that just ridiculous. I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, I mean that's just. Incredible. And I try and I tour with KRS One in Europe. You know, uh, and I see a show live in Europe. Karis One can sit there and do an hour and a half by himself, just standing, no nothing, no crew, no band, nobody, just him. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> okay. I don't know, man. I, 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 and I feel, I feel. I, listen, I feel horrible. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm really doing something bad to Brooklyn by saying this, man. You know, I feel the betrayal. The betrayal. 
I feel like I'm betraying Brooklyn. But I also got to give it up to the to the home of hip hop, the Boogie Down Bronx. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. You're right. Oh, listen, ladies, we about to punch out. They, 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 right, the well, chat room's lit up. They're like black cop. It's, it's all happening in the chat room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. L- listen, Rock. Listen, all I'm saying to you, and before I get out of here, let me just say, I, I'm going to call it. I'm going to call KRS One if in this format, only in this format, and Sands came pulling out. A couple of big guns, because you know he's gonna pull out the symphony. You know all that stuff right, is gonna right, happen. Right, 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 you know right, that's right. Yeah, happen, yeah, you got a deal. And and, and Karis Wim doesn't have that 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 plethora of homeboys that he could pull out. He, he's everybody's friend, Steve but he doesn't have that. It. Right, 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 right. Yeah. You know, just yeah, you know, just understand. <laughs> hey, look, that, hey, look, that look King, my brother, I love you. Okay, but you know. Rock got a citation today. <laughs> good. All right, let's okay. give it a rock. Rock citation. We appreciate the call. Thank you, man. God bless. All right, let me get out of here, man. All right. Get the citation on, brother. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. All right. All right. All right, so they did mention it. Uh, hold on. Robin mentioned Mad Lion. We care of us. Yeah. Right? That's that's. He, that's may, he may, may add that Did on. You, you never know. Hold on. Let me, I lost uh, hold on. Steve. Steve could come back on. He's going to do it. Because we're getting close to shutting down the show. He's going to do it though, though. No. KRS ain't going to bring nobody out. He's, he's going to do it by himself. That Jay Z thing's know, not happening. You know, let me tell you, when this was happening right now in front of us, it just I felt that Rock was getting bludgeoned, and I was like, I have to save my man, you know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And he lived with King. He was so <laughs> confident that he was going to be on his side. <laughs> yeah. oh, you know, me, look, you, you had your face like, you know. I'm ready. And me and Ty Dre were looking at each other like, don't look good. That's right. I got back up. Here it comes. Oh, y'all in trouble now. My man is here. Wonk, wonk, wonk. <laughs> I'm hating right now. So oh, wait. Hey, um, Steve, are you the uh, Delaware number? Just asking. Steve Cass. Or, or call now, Steve. I got the phone line open. I think he's the Delaware number. Right? He's definitely not. The New Hampshire number. We know who that is. Hampshire. That's Bobby. Yeah, I think this is Steve. Hold on. Couldn't get Jazzy on the phone, which is weird. Didn't we have him on the phone? Yeah, he called earlier. I think he was... We had over. so many calls, though. Yeah. It's been... Hello? Yep. Who's speaking? Um, This is Hawk Sam from... Like, oh, oh, Hawk, oh, Hawk, oh, Hawk. oh, damn, Hawk. What's going on, baby? Oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Had to call you back too, damn. <laughs> oh, Yo, what's boy. up? What's up? Huh? Nah, yeah. I wanted to say congratulations on being your confirmation, man. Right, good good oh, job. Oh, oh, Thank hold you. Hold don't hang up. Don't hang up. Don't hang up. Hold on. We're gonna join, I'm just going to merge the calls. Hold on. Oh, let me just get this together. It's just it's that kind of a day. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Merge. Merge. That's it, one. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Yeah, what's up, y'all? Steve? Nah, this is Hawk. Oh, Hawk. Yeah. Okay. Did I get Steve? I didn't get Steve. Steve, are you on there? <laughs> yeah, Steve. It's the 908 242 number. And thank you, DJ Jazzy G. He says, dope, quick, set rock. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I had fun doing it. Jazzy should have your DJ for it's, me. It's Samuel, so you didn't know that, right? That uh, on the citation. Yeah, I- no, I didn't know that. Yeah, Al. Um, thank you. You know, good looking out, Al. Every day, ever since I met you, man. For sure. Good looking out um, on my project and the thing that you're doing for Hip Hop Boulevard. Um, congratulations. I'm, I'm learning a lot from you, too. Right. Hold, hold on, 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 on a second. Let me try hold something. On. Hold on, Hawk. Hold on. Call from. Steve Cap. Hello? Steve. Hey, it's Steve Cap. We got Steve hey, Cass on the phone. Right. What's up, Steve? What's up, Steve? Right. Come on, Steve. I'm going to try to merge this call. Hold on. See if this works. Let me just see. It'll merge. Uh, yeah. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Cool. Right, I got Steve got and I got Hawk. We got both. All right. We got to it. So, Steve, what's going on, bro? Steve? 
Oh, oh wow. Oh, everybody just went out on him. Like, oh, wow. Everybody out. Uh, oh, I'm calling him back. I got his number now. This is harder than that wall I painted. I got to tell you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And it was a beautiful job. What's going on, man? We love that. I love uh, that. I'm resting my arms. I have I haven't checked them that far in a while, but uh, it was totally a pleasure to, to see what you guys and represent and just give love. You know, what happened to just give them love? And that's what it was all about for me yesterday. It was totally about that. It was beautiful. As a matter of fact, me and Steve had a moment, actually. Mm-hmm. You know, he didn't know who I was, but I knew he was the artist, you know, and I'm walking in in all my glory because, mm-hmm. you know, I'm coming to rock the stage. Right, right. And I go to look at the bureau and I go, and Steve goes, yo. Hold my camera, I'm going live. That was it. This is what he said to me. <laughs> not hello, not what's up. He just, hold my camera, I'm going live, bro. So I said, okay. So I just, I just held the camera. I was like, all right, you know, okay, cool. It was so crazy. He didn't even, he didn't even say hello. He was like, hold the camera, I'm going live, bro. <laughs> so I just held the camera while he, went, while he went live yesterday. So do you remember me now? Yeah, yeah, and I appreciate you, man. You, yeah. you um, definitely took it. It was a little hesitant, but then you took it, and I and I, I think you was pointing a different, a different way. But then I saw you aiming. Yeah. Uh, I, I was stunned. I was like, I don't know where we're going with it. I'm like, okay, well, let me go and film what's happening. Right, it's history happening, so, so why not? Right. Was there any comments from Jazzy J on 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 just the piece and and um, the way it evolved? And there, there is a story behind it. And I'm sure maybe I will share that story with you. But it took a little bit of work and it, a little bit of the discouragement from some other energies from outside. But um, um, I, I get better when if I get hit with any like a hater that doesn't even understand. I, I do it even harder, and I go you know you got to kill what you eat. You got to, and then you eat what you kill. You know you got to go hard if someone else will. Word. First of all, I thought you did a fantastic job. By the way. Steve, give give us a brief history of you so that way our viewers and our listeners can know who you are. Okay. I'm a kid that grew up in Harlem and um, 125th Street uh, by the Palo Theater. And, you know, I didn't have much. It was, I came from a poor family, but I always felt like I was rich because I got a lot of love and a lot of support. My mother's an artist. My grandmother was an artist. So I always say I was drawn before I was born. Um, but one time, this moment happened at, while I was a teenager. A guy comes up to me. He's like, "Your cash. I, I see you doing your thing. I just want to let you know you're cool and everything, and I don't want you to be upset later. But you're Hispanic. You're from the hood. You don't have a degree. Chances are you're not going to make it. And he walked away with a smile, like, like he was doing me a favor. And I got to tell you, I get, to this, I get a little emotional because to this day, I've never stopped because he said that. To this day, I say, yeah, I am Hispanic. I am from Harlem. And at that time, I didn't have a degree. But that's not going to stop me. Watch. Watch what I'm going to do. Yeah, so. And what happened? I just kept doing what I did. I became a messenger, running around around Manhattan, delivering mail and stuff. And I told my my boss, I said, I got coins. I can't walk no more. I can't do this thing. (laughs) So my boss says, you know what? I'm going to put you in the mail room. He happened to put me in the Viacom building mail room. So now I had a little part. I'm running around the, you know, Viacom, and I'm putting packages on people's desks. And then I said one day, oh, I'm also an artist, and I would love to show you my work. And the receptionist said, I would love to see it. I brought it in, and she was like, you in the mail room? Wait a minute. So she called somebody from uh, MTV, part of Nickelodeon, and other, all those companies over Viacom. And he answered, and she said, well, can you see this guy? So, they said, okay, I walked in with my car, I the car to the side, and I show him my work. And he's like, what? You in the mail room? Can you come in tomorrow at 9? I said, oh, yeah. He said, okay, I'll see you at 9. I went out, I grabbed my little cart, and I was crying like I couldn't believe down the hall. And the next day, I got an opportunity to work with Nickelodeon, Nick at night, and I did some artwork for them. And, and that was the beginning, beginning of my career. Then I started doing for Beavis and Butthead. From there, I went to Warner Brothers, and then, you know, and and and, and I didn't have the degree. And I remember when I got to Warner Brothers, the art director, because I told, I said, "Why me?" You know, there was everyone that was in that interview. They had suits, and I was kind of just dressed regular. And she said, "Um, oh, everyone there could have got that job. They had all the credentials, the art that we kind of been using, but you were totally different, totally different." And I said, and that's the beginning of my career. You know? That is an amazing story. 
But you know what that is too, Steve? That's a testament to really that people have to understand that as artists, we don't fit inside that box. We don't fit inside that box. We fit outside that box. And through how you went through it, you ended up in the space that you were supposed to be in to cultivate your talent, right? Which is not in that box, which is not a nine to five job, which is you're not made, you're not built to not create. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're built to create. You're built to be creative. So, you know. I thought it was the way of life. I was growing up. I was actually other kids. What do you mean you don't draw? I was like, we don't draw. And I, because I was doing I, my whole entire life, I was watching yeah. my mom draw. Um, you know, so and, that's what you then do. it got to a point. Where, yeah. Then it got to a you know, I, I actually haven't had a chance to ever even attend an art class. Don't get it wrong. I am educated. I just never went to an art class. But I grew up with the most loving father on the planet. He would always support me. And he was poor, you know. He, but I didn't even know we were poor. So somebody said, yo, dude, you're looking at the project. You're, and I was like, <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You had no relativity. I, yeah. yeah. I tried to go to a high school, art school, that, but they denied me. They rejected me. So I went to a regular school. But that was even better because I was one of the only artists there. I was making money through our whole high school. Then I said, don't worry. I'll go to college and I'll go to an art college. So I, I was trying to get a grant, and my father said, you're going to get it. And I said, I know, Dad. I went to this, 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 this service that gives you grants to, and scholarships to go to um, college. And when I went there, they looked at my book, and she was like, I'm sorry, there's no art. There's no art in this, in this field, no jobs in this field. And I said, but Miss, I, I'll try hard. Even if there's one, I'll try it. Boy, she's like, she's like, I'm sorry. Hey, hey, I'll give you a, Steve, I, I don't want yeah. to cut you off, but I send Rock a picture that will kind of tell you how Jazzy felt about your artwork, and I don't think he even realized this picture is this. Okay. I found it. Somebody sent it to me. And maybe we'll oh, put it I'll up. try to get it up. But continue. Go ahead. I just wanted to let you. Okay, well, I'll end it with this. Um, they didn't give me the grant, and I went to my dad. I said, Dad, they, didn't, they rejected it. I can't. He says, it's okay, son. You know what this means, though, right? I said, what, well, Dad? You're going to have to be better than that guy that graduates. You're going to have to work harder than that guy. And I got to tell you, that did more for me than going to school for four years or whatever it was, because he believed in me, you know? And um, I just put my head down and always did the best that I could. That's all I, I didn't try to be better than anyone. I did, I worked as hard as I can every single day to be the best that I can, you know? And thank you for letting me share my, my little story there. But that's the well, truth, Steve, man. we really appreciate you. Really appreciate you. And believe me that... Um, when you do something for Hip Hop Boulevard, Hip Hop Boulevard continues to do things for you. Everybody around me, this is a testament to it. We just continue to do it, so watch. Wow, yeah. It was an honor for me. It was, it was just an honor to be, you know, and the way it evolved was beautiful. It was just some two, you know, energies that I wanted to just give, and, and the more energy came in. And it exists now. It exists. And I, I didn't get to finish it, and I still to cut things up. But I got, you know, by 5 o'clock when Jay, when he came around, it was the best that I could do. It was a, it's an amazing piece. And, look, Jay was very emotional at the time when, you know, he's taking a picture with everybody there and all that. When Jay's emotional, he keeps quiet. Yeah. He keeps quiet. That's it. Because, you know, it's a lot going on. And he was admiring what you were doing when you didn't even know he was admiring what you were doing. Yeah, it's peeking around the corner. Yeah. And wow. that photo speaks volume to your work. Because if Jay don't think you got anything going on, he just keeps going. <laughs> he's, mm -hmm. just not gonna, he's not going to say anything, but he's not going to pay attention. Right. You got something going on, you got his attention. Because he really likes to focus. He's... A man of many, many talents. So he likes to stay mm. focused on the things that he feels is important to stay focused on. And that mural was very important for him, believe me. And, you know, you Rock works with him a lot. Mm. Yeah, now, nah, if he don't dig it, he won't say he don't dig it, but he'll just keep it moving. You'll feel his vibe and be like, mm. but this picture, which I'm trying to send, I think I'm having some weird internet phone problems, but it's it's you you see him... He's watching you work, like mm -hmm. closely, and you happen to, you're, and you're not facing him. So, it's uh, mm -hmm. I think I think I got it. I think I might have the picture. Wonderful to hear. Thank you. 
Yeah. And, and Bobby Cowan in the chat room said he loved it. Awesome. Come on. You know, so young. Yeah, take, a look, take a look at our... It ain't there yet. Hold on. I got to download it. Hold on. Give me a few... Download message. There we go. Download. Boom. All right. <clears throat> I'm downloading it into the computer right now. Mm-hmm. And then I'll be able to put it on the screen. That's a great picture, too. It is. Yes, Show that. A great picture. Sure. But that, that answered your question, Steve. That picture right there. Yeah, I'm going to... Yeah. Chat room, like I said, Bobby. Bobby knows Jazzy as well as I do. And uh, mm. he's like... Uh, well, number one, he said it was a great story. That's mm-hmm. what uh, Jazzy G said. Uh, shout out to Harlem. That was Robin. Bobby Cowan mm-hmm. said, Steve, Jay loved it. So that's in the chat. Awesome. Thank you guys for having me on the show. Oh, hang out. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm going to put this thing up. So just give me a second. Okay. okay. I just uh, awesome. I found a picture. Let's get it. That is, you know, we got to do this thing on the fly sometimes. This is live. Mm-hmm. This is live. This happens now. And, and Steve, it, it was, you know, we added the rest of the graffiti artists and all that stuff to mm-hmm. even empower more what you were doing, like everybody coming mm-hmm. to support the whole mm-hmm. thing. Were you being I mean, the, that was like taking a seven year. Right. I was a, a little seven-year-old kid came over to me. He's like, can I explain? I said, sure, come on. Write your name right here. You got that. Yeah, it was, it was beautiful, you know. He was like, wow. His face totally changed. And I mean, those are the things that, you know, you have to become a better better human, you know, and just give. I, mean, if you're, I believe blessings are given to those so they can be a blessing unto others. That that's, was what it was all about for me, man. Thank you again listen, for letting me be part listen, of You might have started that kid's art career, you know what I'm saying, uh-huh. because you did that. Yeah. You know, you let him do you let him do it, and he's like, oh, man, you know, I was at a festival, and this guy... Yeah. Steve, you let me spray my name when I was ten. You know, like that's that's kind of how it happens. You know, well, I'm just trying. And I make them feel like, wow, I can't believe you're doing this with me. You know, and right. And I mean, one day I'll, I'll come on your show and I got some stories for that. And I've, love I've to. witnessed some beautiful things that even I like. Wow, like, I'm wow, just telling me, but uh-huh. fit the screen. Okay. Ah, yeah. Here you go, Steve. Here's a picture. And okay, I'm gonna check it bang. out. There it is right now. I have it on the screen. So that's Jazzy looking, peeking around the corner. It's him there. I don't know if I can see it though. I'm on a phone. Oh, okay, okay. Well, when you, when you hang up, uh, we're still gonna be on for a couple of minutes after that, and you, I have it, I have it on the screen naturally. Uh-huh. Wow. All right. Yeah, I can't see it while I'm on the phone. But, Not a problem. Um, Get, go check it out, and you can hit us on the chat room. That you all said, right. Okay? Okay. My all brothers, right. God bless. Thank you for, for everything. Thank you, Steve. Right, Thank best. you, Steve. Yeah, God bless. Steve. Um, when somebody asks a question like that, long time. Hello? Uh, I got that this morning. Yeah. Is this DJ Flame? Yeah. Hey, Flame. How you doing, DJ Flame? DJ Flame, what's happening? DJ Flame, what's happening? Huh? I didn't know I was on the show. I thought I was just falling asleep. Yeah, nah. We're in the middle of doing a show right now. <laughs> is this the Al Pizarro show? This is the Al Pizarro show. Oh, look at that. Absolutely. Flame, how are you feeling? Are you okay? And all that, we keep you in prayers. Well, I, I thank you so much um, for asking. I'm doing a, a little better than before. I'm just trying to follow doctor's orders and stay put. And you know how that hard that is for me to do. I'm always trying to keep it moving. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually complying. Okay. <laughs> so I, I, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping for a better recovery by the end of the month. So. Great. And we, yeah, dope. and we prayed for that, too. And we missed you yesterday. Yeah, we did. Let me tell you, you guys. You know, I don't stay far from, you know, my ear to the ground and my, my eyes, you know, uh, to the uh, social media. You guys did an amazing job yesterday. I was like, can to come up <laughs> Um, An amazing, amazing job. Al, you know, I always get on you for things 
but I tell you this one, you pull this trigger like no none other, okay? And I know you had them um sons and daughters of hip hop. Sticky, I saw it, of course, your um hosting stage presence and again you were amazing. Um, I'm so glad that you are a part of uh, Hip Hop Boulevard and, and, and just taking the realm of the the host or, you know, co-host because you you are an amazing talent. You're blessed. And um, I'm, just, I'm just excited. Uh, I, I'm just excited for next year and the year after, you know, huge things to come. The... Um, uh, the, the the panel discussion that's about to come up next, is, as well as the um, the award ceremony, I'm just excited. Um, kudos to you guys. Wait, hold on for a second. I don't I don't have the uh, the aesthetic, but <laughs> <laughs> oh, you need this. Uh, <laughs> hey, Flame, you're very you you. It's all of us. First thing. And, you know, speedy recovery because there's a lot we got to do. But thank you so much, but it's all of us together. We all benefit. We all congratulate each other. Hello? Because it's all of us together. Uh-oh. I lost you. Hello? Yeah, you don't hear us? We hear you. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't hear him. I, I heard something. Uh, yeah, we heard you, though. Okay, what what were you saying, Al? Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I was, I was saying that it's all of us together, you know, that we wish you a speedy recovery and that we and we congratulate all of us because I don't do this alone, I do this with every one of you. So I appreciate everything that you do. Thank you. I appreciate what you do. And I, I tell you, I, I just see bigger and better things. But I would say I did pray because I thought it was going to rain and it didn't catch you until the end, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I was praying. I was trying to keep the rain that day because they said it was going to rain all day. And yeah. I said, no, 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 no. Not, not until after this, I, you know, um, seven. And uh, it seemed about six o'clock, maybe, you know, quarter to six or something, I saw the rain. And I said, well, it's over now. So <laughs> you can rain all day. Yeah. Okay. So thank you so much, though, for everything. Thank you, Flame. I'll hit you later. Yeah. All right, Mama. DJ Flame, man. Wow. That is so dope. What a Holy list of calls today. Uh, and you know what? And we did a two hour show. Did we? Two hours? It's, it's, it's wow. five after four. <laughs> is it, yeah, I'm looking at the clock. It's a minute 45. That's it. Hour 45. Which. It had to be done because we had a lot of stuff to talk about. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I got a citation, you know. Say oh, congratulations <laughs> again. Yeah, you know, right? Tydre, you presented yeah. Rock with a citation. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, uh, Tydre uh, gave me a citation, uh, presented a citation to me. Uh, the festival yesterday, we had to talk about that. We had to talk about domestic violence. James came on the scene and talked about what he's doing and, and you know, and everything that happened yesterday. And it was good to see you too, because I was, I was actually surprised. I was Thanks surprised. I'm like, I'm like, yo, I'm like, you up here? What? Like, when I saw him yesterday. Um, There's only one way to end the show, though. Yeah. What are you thinking? I'm thinking um, showing Gary's video. I think that is the best. Way. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Gary got an email to me. It's, it's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. You've been talking about it the whole show. It's like, yeah, like, yeah. It's pretty. It. I got it down. He's got to either send it to me. I got to strip it from Facebook. Yeah, he's like, I'm ashamed of this. <laughs> but I did the best I could rock. You know, he just kept it straight. At, but I think, like, he was doing this and watching the show. <laughs> I think that's kind of what was happening. He wasn't yeah, watching the Look, I see Gary smile. I never mm -hmm. seen Gary have a permanent smile, and that was him yesterday. Yeah, yeah, he was, yeah, 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 the whole he day. He was smiling throughout the whole day. Yeah, he was. He was really, like, enjoying it, you know, because he's part of the company, he's part of this whole thing, and he sees the growth, and, you know, he knows what we struggle with and right. everything. And he was smiling all day, man. I saw Gary smiling. I said, smiling, smiling, smiling. I said, no, he was cheesing. Right. He was, was cheesing from step one. When I got there, I'm like, why is this nigga so happy? <laughs> What? You know what I'm saying? Like, 
You know, now he was now he was definitely we and you know what the okay. truth of the matter is look we were, people yeah. IS who brought IS yeah, yeah Gary. Gary 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 brought IS all right one hundred percent that was his that was his doing your people Gary yeah you th- you know like like I said earlier we joke around but Gary brings a lot to the table he does one hundred percent and you know what everybody was smiling yesterday yeah. you know what I'm saying it was no hard grills. You know, everybody was happy and everyone was really smiling and they were enjoying themselves. It was, yeah. it was really that kind of environment. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So even, even Cass, you know, Cass was smiling, you know, and enjoying it. Smoked a cigar. We sat and chopped it up. Yeah. You know, but um, you know, people came out and they enjoyed themselves and it was that kind of a day, that kind of energy. Yeah. That had you smiling. So a big shout out to all the pioneers who showed up and all those pioneers that are chiming in on Facebook and social media and just talking about it they weren't there they wish they were there and all that yeah. and just that the the you know the whole social media thing is lit up with it it's 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 a big statement you know big statement exactly. so now we we got to figure steve out saw it steve said wow amazing inspirational photo steve cast there you go there you go so i'm gonna send, I'm gonna send it <laughs> thank to you steve robin <laughs> <laughs> she wrote something in the chat room and saw a joke oh yeah okay yeah but I, Yo. <laughs> yeah what an incredible show. Incredible show, bro. Awesome. This and was a good one today. Look, let me tell you something. I can't wait for Ty Dre to perform for all these pioneers. Yeah. You know, we got to make that happen in the next event that we're going to do because I don't think that I know they're not ready for you. And I'm not saying I, I don't think I, I know they're not ready for you. Okay? So. Yeah. No, they're not ready for that. They're not ready for that. No. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's, you know, I'm, I'm hoping we get to do this thing, Maria Davis thing on the 20th, right? I'm, I'm hoping that we get to do that with me, him, OnStar, Edie, I mean, right, that we get to do. I asked for us to get basically sort of like a 45-minute set. Right. That we all kind of just run and just do the show, you know, do our songs and then, you know, and kind of bring that energy to it. And I felt that, him and OnStar and Edie were a good matchup for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes I'll do the show and it'll be people that I don't know, number one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then they'll go on and then there's a big energy shift, you know, that happens. And, you know, I know that these guys, they get down. So I know what I bring, they're going to bring that too. You know right. what I'm saying? They're, he's like a younger version of me. You know what I'm saying? And and thinner. And thinner, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't gonna bullshit. I was out of breath yesterday. I was, I was like, I been doing. I made it look cool, but I was like, <laughs> okay. He said, he said, look, he said, and I'm done. <laughs> Music stopped. That's it. I stopped the show. That's it. And walked off. I was like. I'm done. That was, that was it, bro. I was like, that was done. That was it. I said my last shake with your mama gave me, and I was done. So it was cool. It was actually pretty funny. Because wow. then they all were like, ah! I was like, yeah, that's, that's that shit. I ain't got to tell you to make noise. Y'all know what it is. I'm the man. You know, yeah. Shout out to our host, Deborah Coco, yeah. Showtime, Happy, Original Pioneer. Um, Doc P did his thing for Connecticut. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. He did yeah. his thing. Big job to uh, G, uh, G Street Records. Yeah, he was up there from Connecticut. Awesome. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And cutting and Aldo from Cutting was there. Aldo was there? Yeah, Aldo was there, man. Damn. I, and I thought I saw him, but I was like, nah. That's, yeah. yeah, wow, dope. And all the people that were involved, especially New York City Breakers and Dynamic Rockers, you guys did your thing with the kids, man. They were amazing. They were amazing. They what was the name of that kid? Group that came out there, and the, one, was, the, uh, the one in the orange, yeah, that was the dynamic rockers. That was the dynamic rockers, right? That's the no, kid no, version. No, no, the kids. No, the two kids were the dynamic rockers. Okay, and the one the orange was the New York City Breakers. New York City Breakers, the yeah. the the, the, the kitty version, the, right. the young version. Yeah, and they were dope. Yeah, I stood on stage and watched that, and that was a that was really a it was it was a spectacle to see. Like they all had their moves. They were defying gravity like it was the whole thing. My man did a windmill, and his legs never touched the ground. <laughs> I was like, I want to try that. Yeah. And, you know, the, the most difficult thing, when you don't have the space, you have to mentally measure yourself when you're doing your move because the, the, the monitors are right there. Right, right, right. And I could see that they were shifting around to adjust, 
you know what I'm saying, for the situation. And they did and they did a fantastic job. I mean, you know, and then uh Indio came out at the end, correct? Yeah. You know, right? yeah. yeah. And then he threw down. I mean, I was like, then I'm, I'm seeing B Boy in it. I was seeing when I was 14. The fancy footwork and all that stuff. He was, that, that was, was really that's great. That's a teacher. Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah. And then I heard Quick Step was up there too and did something. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. and Rock, so we had Pioneer B Boys and B Girls up there. This one girl did a move, the one with the orange. Yeah. She did a move. I said, what the yeah. hell was that? Yeah, yeah. She basically. Kind of stood on her head and bent over backwards, and she was basically like a sideways letter U. Yeah, yeah, like she just she was up and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. So her head, she it it was like she was a letter U, but sideways. You know, it was crazy. That move was and defied gravity once again. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out to her. She was yeah. amazing. What's Robin saying there? Robin's like, this show needs donations. Yes, we need money. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they were coordinated. Yes, they were coordinated. They were great. I heard everybody was there. That's that's uh, DJ Flame. Samuel Hawkins says, thank you, Hip Hop Boulevard. Uh, bless you, Jazzy G. That's a conversation between Gail and Jazzy G. Because he said, salute my sister in spin. And that was Jazzy talking to her. Gail said, you guys made history. And there's a comedy above that I'm not gonna say, but okay. And then, uh, and then that's kind of the deal, man. Listen, man, let's punch yeah. out. Yeah, so, we've been rocking for two hours, and we had to, cause it was it was that kind of show. And what you missed yesterday, you know, next year when it happens again, you you all need to come and be a next part year, of it. I thought we was doing next week. Oh yeah, all right, cause cause uh, <laughs> Hawk, yeah, Hawk has to come back to film it, right? Yeah. So we're doing next Saturday, back at seven fifty nine Allison Avenue, right? We're gonna do that. Rock Logic Festival. Yeah, yeah that's what we're gonna do. Yes, yes, we're gonna do my festival, and I'm gonna have you right next to Jazzy's. That's yeah. that. That's how that should go. But um, yeah, we'll see you when you guys back on. When we back on in two weeks. What's Gary? Gary? What's the day, Gary? Come on in here, Gary. Come on in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get Gary in here, man. We got closing up with Gary. You 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 are special guests coming from South Carolina, but you know when Gary's here, we don't get him that often. But when he's here, we want to make sure he's here. Guys, visit to the emergency room are incredible. It's a commodity. Thirty first Halloween. Ah, oh, Halloween. okay. Oh, we uh, we so gonna think Halloween. about that. What we do you want to do? Mask, costumes, eh? Can... Huh? Well, apparently Halloween's a Sunday. It is. I so yeah, I mean, so uh, costume. I mean, costume. I'll probably I'll probably I'll probably be dressed. <laughs> Look, anyway. I'm gonna tell you guys something because you're not gonna see me till then. All right, but my birthday's on the twenty eighth. Oh. Oh wow. Oh, okay. Oh, so so hold on. Oh, so we birthday party it. foul. So, we kind of got to have a birthday party on the birthday show. Party right? Right? We gotta birthday so, party foul. So I gotta go home. You know, for my birthday, and then I'm gonna come back. Okay. Okay. If you want to take your birthday off, that's fine too. I get I did, it. No, look, we got uh, something happened in November. Uh -huh. and we got something happening in December. Are you able to we say got... these things, Al? Or is this one of those times where you're debating us? It's a secret. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I can actually talk about this. Oh, okay. okay. All the due first. diligence has been done. Wow. Everybody has signed off. Wow. And we're ready to roll. We've been working on this for at least eight months. Wow. Okay. And for those people that don't know, 50 years ago, there was a, a, a gang peace treaty. There was a, a gang member oh, yeah. by the name of Black Benji that got killed trying to create peace. From the ghetto brothers. The gangs. From the, from the ghetto go. brothers, that's right. And a person named Julian uh, that wrote a book for him, uh, about him and all the stuff that happened with gangs, reached out to me and asked me if I could help with a co-naming. And I said, why don't we do better with the violence in New York? Why don't we do a reenactment? of that day with all the gangs that were there that day and all the new gangs today. And then James Tate introduced me to a gentleman who had the blood, the Crips and all that stuff. And then I talked to my people from the Peacemakers and the Black Spades and I talked to NYPD and I went to Hoa Avenue where they did the original one and talked, and talked to them. And we are doing a 50 year anniversary of the Gang Peace Treaty and to reenact it, to reestablish it, Mm -hmm. On that day, which is December 11th. Okay. And that <laughs> is a huge platform. Yes, December, November. December 11th. And if, and if any of you all have time, uh, some of the actual footage from that is actually on YouTube. You can actually see the actual thing because the news was there. It was a big deal. Like, mm -hmm. it, was, it wasn't like just some gangs got together and had a conversation. 
you know, the, the gang situation in New York City was so horrific yeah. that they had to actually create this treaty. And, like, Eyewitness News was there and different news agencies. So the actual footage of them, because um, I saw some stuff. And, you know, it's funny because you hear them talk, how they talk. Right? You know, hey, man, you know, we're not getting that job. <laughs> you know, like it was, they're talking like that. You know what I mean? It was funny. But they're there and you see them in their colors and everything. So it's it's on YouTube. If so you look it up. that's um uh, we we did that through the office of Fernando Cabrera. You know Fernando Cabrera is uh, out of polit- politics at the end of the year, so it's a good send off and it's a good start for the new administration with Vanessa Gibson uh, to come in and take lead, and it's just uh, something that Hip Hop Boulevard is you know very proud that we you know we're part of this thing. We've been blessed. Now, been- what's your cash app? What's my cash app? Yeah, in the room, they're like, what's Al's cash app? Promote Al's cash app on the show. I guess so people could donate money. Okay, well. <laughs> I guess that's what it is. There, there's a company cash app, which we okay. have on the website, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what's, which is Hip Hop Boulevard, app? and it's uh, Hip Hop Boulevard INC. Okay. Okay, it's and the cash you can do app. that, the cash app, but you go to the website, it'll say cash app, uh-huh. and you click on that, it'll go directly to that, and then my personal cash app is uh, Al Pizarro. Right, there you go. Okay, cool. And there it is, gang. And you know what? We're gonna punch out. <laughs> Gal said, "Can you dig it?" That's right, exactly. Can you dig it? Listen, we will see you October thirty first. We're gonna have the Al Pizarro birthday party here in the studio. <laughs> we'll figure out how we're gonna make it all really special and stuff. Maybe have some food and stuff, and kind of like you know, have some drink, some food and stuff, and just kind of you know, uh, talk about Al. Really, you know what I'm saying? I think we 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 know Al, but we don't really talk about Al. You know what I'm saying? And uh, really, sort of discuss Al's life, right, and his contributions to this music thing, and all of that stuff, and have some people that actually, maybe uh, Gary, maybe you'll be able to formulate where you can find some people. You know, Al, you put them together with some people that you grew up with. You know what I'm saying? And we do sort of an Al tribute show. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, like for that. his birthday. You know, I think we should do that. You know, and and celebrate his life, right? You celebrate his life. It's his birthday, you celebrate his life. And all aspects of it, you know, personal, you know, relationships, business relationships, music relationships, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, kind of bring that all to the table. And that would be cool, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like the thing that they they did for me where... I remember. Where they did, and then if you can get... What would be cool is if we could organize uh, video testaments Mm -hmm. about no longer than 60 seconds long, Right, of here's the idea, guys, in the chat room. All right, and check it out. Uh, where you do a 60 second video on you know how Al affected your life, or a, a funny story that you know about Al, or a touching story that you know about Al, and you give me these 60 second videos. And then what we'll do is we'll create a tribute clip of each thing, and they can mm-hmm. say, Well, you know, Al did this for me, or when I worked for Al, we did this, or when we started out and did that. So I'm gonna put my email address in the um, in the chat, and you can use um, use boardwalk podcast at gmail.com, and that's boardwalk. This way, it'll, it won't get mixed up with my personal email. Boardwalk podcast at gmail.com, and that's b o a r b o a r b o a r d w a l k podcast boardwalk podcast at gmail.com. And you guys just start sending videos, and then I'll chop them up, and I'll make you know make a clip out of them. You know what I'm saying? So you all can right, do that. we're gonna see some stuff there. All right, uh, and hear some stuff. So yo, I'll Gary, punch you. Gary's a point person. <laughs> Gary's a point person. You can send it to the Boardwalk yeah. Podcast, and just do that over the next couple of weeks, guys, so I can have something edited together. I'm punching out. I'll see you. There we go. I got a citation. <laughs>